Yeah. Hello, 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 everybody. This is Christine Bertram, and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, on a Wednesday night. I can't ever really remember if I've ever gone live on a Wednesday. Oh, I have. And I remember when in January. <laughs> I do remember in January I go live on the Wednesday because I usually leave for Florida on the next day. But it is really weird to be live on a Wednesday. And the reason we're doing it is because Kelly hi. is here. She wants to say hi to everybody. Yay. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is me oh. in my true fashion. Yep. So uh, Winnie the Pooh, I'm wearing an old-fashioned shirt. Old, yep. Oh, there you wait, go. Let's have an old fashioned um, Christmas. Have an old fashioned Christmas. Um, I love old fashions. Anyone who's not from Wisconsin, you don't know what an old fashioned is. Yes, they do. They well, might. It's not the same. It's not the same. They're not made the same. That They're is not very made true. The same. We did go down to Louisville. And we asked for an old-fashioned, and it came back, and it wasn't an old-fashioned. It wasn't. It isn't. <laughs> but so, they call I mean, it an old-fashioned. If fashion. you ever have an opportunity to have a Wisconsin <laughs> old-fashioned, you'll understand the obsession. They're good. But anyway, so this is Kelly in her rarest form. And Kelly just <laughs> she rocked in right now, like about a minute and a half ago. I had everything prepped and ready to go, so that all I had to do was hit the go live button. Uh, so we had to switch a route a little bit around, you guys. So you're not used to being me being live on a Wednesday. This is not the normal night. Normally... Um, is MJD, does that happen to, if I had to guess who MJD is, is that, I don't want to guess. <laughs> I might be wrong. I, I was going to guess Mo, but it might not be. <laughs> so um, normally we're live on Thursdays and Kelly leaves for, can I say? Absolutely. Okay. Kelly has a bachelorette party down in Orlando. 80 minutes from Orlando. Or 80 flying, minutes I from. Know, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, tomorrow. she's flying into Orlando tomorrow, and so she asked if I wanted her help, if we could switch them around, and Kelly has done every game night with me from the beginning, and the first game night was in May of 2020, and every year we do about three or four game nights in the beginning. We did four, and now we're, like, we keep it at three. With every catalog, we do a game night, and so she leaves tomorrow. At what time? Like, uh, getting picked up at two. Two in the afternoon. Yeah. So we switched it around. And tomorrow night, I have eight lovely ladies here that are going to be doing Lucky Hand. So it's the same thing, basically just playing slightly different versions of games and uh, making the same cards. So Lucky Hand is the in-person version of game night. So I know that if somebody's not local and they ask for Lucky Hand, I know that they mean game night. So mm -hmm. hi, Lou Wayon. Hi, Sherry Everett. Hi, Sherry Martin. And there's Debbie Gass and Kat Fronick. Yay. You girls were here bright and early. You were actually here when I was actually here. Mm -hmm. And I told you guys to hang tight. So I appreciate that. Hi, Feline. I appreciate and that. And Kelly it's appreciates train. it too. <laughs> she got stopped by the train. <laughs> We do have a long train in Fond du Lac that lasts about 10 minutes. And so I think Kelly got behind that one or got stuck. So that's what happened. All right. So let's see if I can find the video as well. We'll give it a minute here. Uh, there we go. Sandy Wicklander's here. Hi, Angelique. Hi, Holly. Hi, Paula Rice and Linda Hunt. Hey, Jean Terwilliger. And there's Jean Jurdis. Her first game night. Yay. I'm so excited for you. Hi, Lisa Sharkey. Hi, Holly. First night watching how game night works. So we'll go over how game night works here momentarily. Hi, Judy Sharp. Linda Scott, I owe you, I have something stuck in my eyelash, it feels like. But Linda Scott asked during my showcase video to explain game night. And it dawned on me three times since then that I never talked about it. And so I don't know if Linda Scott's watching tonight or not, but maybe she'll catch it. And so she sees how it goes. Hi, Karen Woods. And there's a fresh cup of coffee, ready, numbers ready to go. Yeah, so you guys, FYI, if you are doing game night with me tonight, you're commenting that your numbers are ready. You better have your numbers ready, <laughs> Deanne Dawn. So Deanne Dawn, I think you were literally the last person to sign up. And But Sandy Wicklander, she got her numbers into me like about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> hi, Tammy Steckling. Hi, Linda Kester. Hi, Patsy Roberts. And there's Linda Kester. Hi, Debbie Getz. It hasn't started yet. That is correct. Hi, Pat Fleming. There's Mojo. There's Mo. Mo is Mojo, I think. Um, you picked up the wrong kit. Looks like I'll just be playing stamp and watching the replay to assemble. Yay. Okay. Uh, hi, Randy. Oh, and there's MJ Diaz from Sacramento, California. Oh, it's Marsha Dean. Oh, good deal. Okay, MJD. I'll have to remember that's you, Marsha. <laughs> hi, Jenna Helms. Hi, Catherine Healy. And there's Lori Baxter, D. Serena, Penny Shelley. Wow. Wow. Okay. So it's Marsha Dean that loves the hat. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh my gosh. Look at you guys. I can't say hi to everybody. Everybody's rolling in so fast. Hi, Susie Thomas. First time. 
It must have to come from my town. This plane's where the kids learn to count by counting train cars. Yes. Oh my gosh. So when Tyler and I canoed down the Mississippi, there are trains going up and down the Mississippi. We counted 120 cars on this one train, which was crazy. Patsy Roberts forgot your numbers. Oh man. Um, hi, Deb Norman. So we're going to have to see you guys. Um, so Kelly's got your numbers. You can log into my Facebook account. Patsy Roberts, friends with me on, you guys, I, and I, I swear to you, I, 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 I know people don't like it when I give people numbers. And so that's why I always say, keep your numbers handy for the night of event. Cause I do not want to, to like irk people, right? Because it was all on us to keep our numbers handy. Hi, <laughs> Susan Wormley, our Cameron Sanders. So Patsy, if Kelly can get to the numbers and take a minute to send them to you, she will. But I, we don't spend time giving people their numbers. There's, there's no time for that because we are adults <laughs> and we are organized, right? As best we can. I have a time schedule. And uh, yeah, <laughs> hi Sandy Suwata. So um, we do, yeah, Kelly's go to hard stop at 8.15. So what we're going to do tonight, I'm looking for the live. It's still not there in my feed, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what game night entails. So you guys know how to play and then we're going to play a game, make a card, 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 play a game. So it's five games that we're going to play and we have four cards. And this class is kind of like an ink, paper, scissors. Hi, Karen Steg. It's like an ink, paper, scissors where we have to cut the paper and we might have stuff to fussy cut out. And so it takes a little bit on that on the front end. And so I can't remember, I put them in a safe place and forgot where I put them. So you put them so, you put I'll them away her. so, yep, so Kelly's got you, Patsy. She's gonna Facebook message you because she is not, she doesn't have my phone, I have my phone with me. So she can Facebook message you from my Facebook account. Um, so it's Marsha Spotek's first time, yay. We have, um, okay, so I'll also go over the prize packages. Hi, Amy. Um, I also wanna do roll call. So let me pull up game night really quick and I'm going to do roll call right away because I keep everybody on a spreadsheet you guys I normally sign you up in my purple book my purple delicious amazing book but because I log everybody's numbers I put your registrations into a spreadsheet and so I track your payment there I track your numbers there and sometimes I disconnect if people send me a payment all together with other classes I might log you in the book but I might forget to write in my spreadsheet and that happened with Tammy and we figured it out and we always figure it out, but I do want to do roll call really quick. We have a lot of people. Um, we have Judy Sharp, Tammy Steckling, uh, Deanne Kelly. Can you watch my numbers? I'm leaving on a train. Oh yeah, so we'll talk about that too. So remind me, Kelly, when I'm done with roll call, if you help me to talk about people who have told me they aren't able to participate tonight. So we'll talk about that. All right. So starting from the beginning. Um, hi, Denise Crabtree. <laughs> All right, we have Judy Sharp, Tammy Steckling, Mo Fleming. If I call your name, you're allowed to play with us tonight and write the letters S-T-A-M-P. If I don't call off your name, you can watch. Absolutely, you guys. Anytime I do a YouTube video, you can watch it, see how it goes, play along, all that good stuff. Um, hi, Jenny Knutson. Um, <laughs> Tammy Suckling says, love, poo, and old fashions. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right. From the top, we have Judy Sharp, Tammy Steckling, Pat Fleming, Mo Stites, Jenna Helms, Donna Grushke, Sandy Wicklander, Karen Woods, Deanna Stell, Shirley Malarkey, Sherry Stewart, Angela Knutson, Luann Bartling, Feline Mays, Mary Lemke, Angelique McClendon, Leslie McMinn, Susan Bellamy, Patricia Saddle, Laura Sullivan, Carolyn Ketchmark, Mary Sykes, Karen Stagg, Sherry Everett, Angie Ward, Lori Baxter, Katherine Healy, Barbara Godby, Linda Kester, Lynn Beasley, Carmen Sanders, Bonnie Kemen, Carmen Melendez, Deb Norman, Vicki Rodriguez, Marsha Dean, Linda Hunt, Jean Terwilliger, Jenny Knutson, Latokia Trigg, Patsy Roberts, Susan Warmly, uh, Joanne Kahn, Carla Lake, Cheryl Bowie, Sherry Martin, Sarah Mitchell, Debbie Gast, Nicole Herrick, Sandy Suetta, Kat Fronick, Jean Jurdis, Lisa Sharkey, Penny Powell, 
Kate Race, Mary Vogel, Mary v Vogel's very first class. Yay to Mary Vogel. I'm super excited. She was referred to us by Carmen Sanders. So Carmen, I'm so thankful for the referral. Mary, I hope you enjoy your first class with me. Both of you girls, I will be putting three handmade greeting cards in uh, Carmen's next package as a thank you for the referral. So you guys, I'll put six cards in there. You can divvy them up however you want to. And then... After Mary Vogel, we have Marsha Dean and Deanne Dawn. Okay, so that leaves me one set left. <laughs> but I am not going to commit it to anybody at the moment because I have been out of my emails since Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I got through, you guys. If you watched my live the other day, you probably heard I spent about six hours catching up on bookkeeping and emails on Sunday. And then we kitted up 1,276 cards between <laughs> seven hours yesterday and six hours today. But that was the kidding part alone. There's also the cutting all the cardstock. There's the die cutting. So anyways, for the last two days or three days, I have been out of my email, feverishly trying to stay um, afloat with kidding. We kitted all of December between yesterday and today. And when we're done with the live, even after Kelly leaves, if you if somebody reminds me, if I forget, I will take my camera and I will, Mary Vogel is Mary V. Okay, I will take the camera and I will share with you what this looks like over here. <laughs> so it's I, incredible. it's incredible. Kelly, you wanna grab this? Um, all right, thank you. I did a quick little live this afternoon for three minutes, you guys, and mm -hmm. I, I, shared with you <laughs> all the boxes. Now everything has been laid out. Everybody's names are married up. Some people have five things that are mailing to them. I'm waiting for tailored expressions to deliver all the calendars. I ordered 600 of those little, I, I'll show you guys. I ordered 600 of these little calendars, you guys. And I got, I'm waiting for them to come because what's happening is I didn't have to charge anybody shipping well, as long as they had a package going out, I could just add it. Um, Marsha Dean was not twice. Um, there was, there's Marsha Svatek. <laughs> I don't know, Debbie Guess. There's a Marsha Svatek and a Marsha Dean. De Kelly, you can look through the list and see if I have Marsha Dean down twice, but I'm pretty sure I only had her once. Um, so uh, everything's married up, and I'm waiting on the calendars from Tailored Expressions. Um, I ordered 600. I have 470 of them claimed. Um, Lisa Sharkey, you sent me a message that you wanted um, a translucent floral stamp a stack. How you, <laughs> how you guys contact me, the, the, the best way to contact me is how you normally contact me. If you text me, text me. If you email me, email me. If you Facebook message me, Facebook message me. Um, I did say your name twice. Okay, well then I might have an extra kit here because I didn't, I didn't mean to write Marsha's name twice. So Kelly, so Kelly's gonna look for Marsha's name twice. And see once if I, um, where she is, like what, how, like we're in the list. So what's happening, Lisa, is I've been out of my emails since, like, or, Marcia Dean, Marcia Spot. Yeah, so only once. Okay, Marcia Dean, you're only on my list once. I didn't, I might have said you twice, because I might have looked up and looked down, and then I might have said it twice. But Marsha Dean, you're only on my list once. So I'm okay on my quick kits. My kits all, t like, turned out great. So Lisa Sharkey, you saw, I saw the email. I just didn't have a chance. You guys, I've been out of, I had a date night last night. So I really, I did for like four hours. I, I didn't do work. But other than that, it's been nonstop kidding. And so Lisa, I did see that you want something. I just, I haven't replied to it. You guys, I don't like to reply to emails if I don't have my book next to me to log it. Because then I forget to log it in my book. And it's most important. Marsha Svatek. I did say your name. Did I, didn't I say Marsha? The last three names were what? Um, um, I said... Mary yeah, Mary Vogel, and then I said Marsha Svatek, and then I said Deanne Dawn. Yeah. yeah, so I said, I know I said your name, Marsha Svatek. I said it very fast. That is the truth. All right, so um, perfect, Marsha Dean. We got you in there once. I wanted to show you guys these are the numbers. 1 through 5 to 10 to 15, 20, 25, 30. I asked everybody who registered for their five lucky numbers between 1 and 30. Now you can see they're all here. I am going to be... I can never get this little guy just to stay put. Um, I'm gonna take these and mix them all up and we're going to flip them upside down because what's gonna happen is I'm going to call numbers, the numbers that I pick, all right? 
So I'm not going to pick any because I don't want to like pick one and then it doesn't come up the rest of the night. And you say you shouldn't have picked it in the beginning <laughs> because that, yeah. that would happen. Hi, Carla Lake from Ken Louisville, Kentucky. No worries, Marcia, Marcia Svatek. It's all good. I talk yeah. really fast and it's a lot to keep up with me. So I just know like you're the second last one on my list. And I'm very excited because I got your numbers. Um, I think you sent them to me yesterday. So what's going to happen is for those people who I called out during roll call, so there's 50, no, 58, 58 people. Um, and again, if there's somebody that signed up between now and like yesterday and they asked for this kit, please reach out immediately to me, like in the messaging here, because you'll get the, most likely get the kit and I want to have you play your numbers. But I just have been out of my email since yesterday, like actually Sunday. Um, so hi, Susan Bellamy, you got home from church. Perfect. So Speaking of that, a couple different things for those that are playing along. Some of you can't be with us at the moment. So like Susan Bellamy was at church. She just got home. She didn't think she'd get home like right away. She was worried she was going to miss out. Um, Shirley Malarkey is working in until like 7.15 or 7.30. Um, Deanna Stell says she's about ready to board a train. So what people do like about my game night is that you don't have to be present to win. Okay, you still get the same odds and chances of winning if you have something that comes up like um, life. life. <laughs> Kelly just said life. Um, and I was thinking Sarah Mitchell. She literally messaged me an hour ago and she's like, I'm sick. I'll probably be napping while you're doing the game. I'm going to miss out on the game. I feel really bad. Well, I don't want people to feel bad because life happens. I get that. And so what happens is Kelly has been here from the beginning. She helps watch your numbers. So if you are not able to be present like via messaging with me, um, and you win, Kelly will tell me, hey, Chris, so-and-so won. She's, you know, she's watching my numbers with you guys, right? So I don't want to take the fun and excitement away from, from you guys because you should watch your numbers with as well. But just so you know, if life happens and you can't participate, you still paid $5 of your registration, paid for your chance to, to win the prizes that I have. And so that's why um, we have... Kelly watching numbers. So that's one thing. Um, the next thing is how do we play? So if you got, there it is, uh, it came up, yay. So if you have your five lucky numbers and let's say, I'm gonna just say hypothetically speaking, my favorite number is two and you pick two as one of your five numbers, I flip it over and I say two, you're gonna write the letter S in the comments. And then let's say I say number 12 because 12 also has a two in it. It's also one of my favorite numbers. And <laughs> Barbara Gabby likes your hat. Um, and you have 12 and two, you're going to type ST. If the third number that I call or any number, like let's say the third number that when I finally call a number that you have, and it's the third number that you have, then you're going to write STA. And then the fourth number is STAM. And then STAMP, if I call all five of your numbers, um, people chose five numbers, Holly, five numbers between one and 30. And I'm going to just keep picking numbers and I'm going to be watching your comments. Um, and Kelly's going to be watching your numbers and she's going to kind of say, Hey, Chris, you have mm -hmm. like seven people who are waiting for one number. And then all of a sudden I'm going to call a number and two of you might get it. Um, what happens if two of you get stamp on the same number? Well, only one person can win the prize package. Mm -hmm. So you made it to like the playoffs. Oh. And what we're going to do is a random number generator. We'll assign one person a number one and we'll assign another, the other person number two. Um, and then I'm grabbing a piece of paper in case that happens. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do, um, hi Polly, Libby, hi Becky, Roar. we're going to do a random number generator and we will pick somebody to win the prize or based off of a random number generator. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we do is we like to share the love. So, I mean, honestly, $5 out of your registration went to potentially go to a prize, right? And if you win a prize and the bundle is valued over $45 to $50, we limit the prizes that you can win to one, okay, um, of the, the master prizes. And that's because we, me, Kelly, like in general, all of us love to share the love. And we look at it as if you've won a prize package, you've got more, way more out than what you paid for the, because the class itself has a value. And then we add on $5 for the registration for the, the, the bundle prizes. And so um, if you do win stamp again on a second or a third game, that's where I'll have a consolation prize for you. And I usually pick a ribbon. I pick an embellishment, something current from either annual or mini catalog. And that will also get mailed with your, your bundle prize. Okay. And, um, 
Yeah, and that means you've got lucky numbers and that you should probably buy some lottery tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to show you what the prize packages are. Now, we're playing five games, so five of these bundles will be won, but I decided to add a sixth package or um, bundle to the mix so that the person who wins last has a, a choice, right? It's always nice having a choice. So I picked Garden Meadow, which is one of the new online exclusive bundles. This could be a prize package won by somebody. Now, the rest of this, so this is a new online exclusive that is available to everybody at the moment. I threw that in there because it is new. You might not have it yet, but <laughs> I'll be honest, I had the product purchase premiere for signing up for OnStage, and I picked out all five bundles that I could. So this is all stuff that's out of the new spring mini catalog. So only if you're a demonstrator who attended on stage would you have the opportunity to get these bundles at the moment. Um, hot air balloon. Actually, this was the only one available. These I was able to buy the sweets and the bundles, and that's why I got them. This one I was only able to buy the bundle, and I'm giving up my bundle until, <laughs> yeah, until I can get on the pre-order. Uh, painted lavender and notes of nature. All right, so when somebody wins, they can pick from this pack, this pile, and then I'll set it off to the side. And the exciting thing about this is that tomorrow is probably one of the biggest shipping days of the year for me because we married up five classes, um, the holiday open house, the DSP sampler, and the tailored expressions calendars, and all the things from the past. And so there's a lot of things getting merged together, and if somebody or when you win something, I can add it to your package that's going out, so you'll get it relatively soon. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah? I think we're ready to rock. Rocky to rock, ready to rock and roll, hoochie coo. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, so oh, yeah. Okay. On a side note, let me flip the camera back down. I'm going to be sharing this in my um, drive here either tonight or tomorrow in my website. You guys, I talked about this on class. Kelly helped me make this, isn't it? I'm so, so excited. Pretty. I'm so this excited. is like my complete offering, like all encompassing, a, 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 like it's a cheat sheet for Cards by Christine. <laughs> so um, you guys, this will be out on the, I'm going to try to uh, tomorrow or the next day or like yesterday, <laughs> whenever I have the, the next opportunity. And then just another side note, I have about eight left of the add-on DSP samplers. We made 30, and I think about 22 are already spoken for. Um, and so I know Nancy, Sue, I need to get you on my list. Um, but yeah, all right. And then once we're done with the first game, you guys, we're going to go hot and heavy into your card kits and talk about these. All right. Okay, drum roll. All right, all righty, all righty, all righty. Are we excited? I think I'm swirling these around. Okay. All right, first number, number 20, Sparkling Snowflakes. And of course we should start with that one yeah. because that is coming up for the monthly class for December. And so you could get in on getting the monthly class if you so choose, number 20. All right, so here's the drill. If you have a number 20, now is the time to write the letter S in your comments. All right, Forever Forest, number 19, 19. Um, Forever Forest, we use that on a stamp set. What is the add-on DSP sampler? Donna Gruschke, I think you, mm, I'm not sure if you signed up for this or not. So this is um, the online exclusives for the entire year of 2023. So it includes seven packages here. There's seven of them. And it's actually just as big as the mini one, actually. Like one, it's one short of the mini. Delightful florals in here. Hello Irresistible. Um, Meandering Meadow. We have a specialty paper. Shining Christmas, Traditions of St. Nick, and One Horse Open Sleigh. So it's all the online exclusives for the year 2020, including like tartan foil, natural gilded, silver foil, three colored glimmer. It's to help you keep track of what you have and to create with what you have. Oh my goodness, look at all those S's. Oh, oh gosh. Yep. Okay, the next one is number 17 is the Modern Garden. You guys, we featured that for um, Ink, Paper, Scissors in September. Yeah, number 17, or oh, we're sticking here in the teens. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do, so we have 17, 19, and 20. Uh, number 14 is the next number, 14. I'm going to try to get these in order so I have the spacing right like that. Okay. Donna Gruski said to sign her up. I'm going to check to make sure. Yeah, I can definitely get you on there. 
wants the add on DSP sampler. Perfect. All right, got you written down here. Um, oh, Debbie Gas says ST, Angelique ST. Number one, tricks and treats. Number one, tricks and treats. So Angie Ward, you put 17 and then you put T. I want you to do like ST and then STA. So every time you get a letter, write it out so that eventually you have the word stamp. All right, number 25 is Stars at Night. Stars at Night, oh man, that was, um, that was definitely our pretty class that we did last week. Oh, the stars, this was the, really the star one here. Sold 108 of those, you guys. 108 of our ink, paper, scissors. Wow, you guys, is that a record? For an ink, paper, scissors, yes. Amazing. And I think there could have been 12 more. Wow. <laughs> All right, warmest heart is number 30. Number 30. Well, we just went from one to 30, so. Yeah, we did, we went one to 30. The spectrum. Yeah, we went to the uh, one end to the other end. Look at all those. All right, so number 30, it's warm. I don't, I haven't made a card with that set yet. Um, if you guys were part of my Autumn Creative Escape, Shannon West, you featured that stamp set. Number 27, Mary and Bright. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had one set of that le class left going into my showcase. Becky Gandolfo claimed it during the showcase, and I had seven people reach out to me after that I had to say no. <laughs> so... I was sad. I always hate having to say no to people. All right. Oh, Lou Ann has ST. Okay, number five is the precious pine cones. Number five, the pine cones. I don't even know if I own that set. Mm -hmm. You guys probably think I buy everything. Oh, Kat's got STA. You probably think that I own everything, but I really don't buy everything. I'll be honest with you. Um. All right. The sky looks like he's next, number nine. Very cute. Aren't you excited we're using very cute tonight? Where's the stamp set? I got it right here. This is actually the stamp set that we're featuring for class tonight. So the class is called Christmas. No, very Christmas, but we're using the very cute. Hi, Patricia Settle. You can absolutely join now. Get your lucky numbers out, girlfriend. All right, Susan Wormley's got STA. All right, let's go with this guy. Number 23, Angie Ward's got STA too. All right, curved occasions. I bought the punch, didn't buy the stamp set. Don't have to buy a bundle if you don't want to. Just remember that. <laughs> 23, number 23 is curved occasions. Oh, let's go with that guy. Number six is light the sky. Um, oh, yeah. Chicka chicka bow. There's our light the sky in action. Let's celebrate. This is for the monthly class as well. Pretty wow. New Year's card. Yeah, I'm also featuring that for my beginner's card. At, um, for our for, New Year's baby. Yep, for the New Year's baby that I am. That is true. All right. I see some STAs, but... Yeah, that's the start. Okay, Joy of Noel, 18. Number 18. You guys, that was our sweet bundle class for the month of November. I might even have a few of this class left. We made 96 of it. And I'm glad I did because we're down to like five left. So we're getting close on selling out of that class. All right. No, Deb Norman doesn't have any of her numbers called yet. Oh, man. Maybe Deb Norman has number three. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Lori Baxter's got a bus so far, too. Well, it's going to happen, you guys. <laughs> the next time, I might be calling all your numbers. Um, so we've got Deb and Lori that are skunked at the moment. Night Divine is number three, though. That one is what went with our Oh, um, oh Holy Night here. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. All right. Number three. All right, number 26, the rocking horse. Sad face on this one. Um, so the stamp set is still available, but the dies sold out, I think, last week already. So if anybody um, needs to get uh, the dies, you're going to be sad face on that. Um, but the stamps are available. You could always fussy cut if you want to. All right. All right. All righty, all righty. Let's go with this guy right here. Number 11. 
Cheers to the season. I don't know if I bought this one either, you guys. Oh no, Patty Powell's a bust too. Oh no. Uh, there's Bonnie Kemmons here, yay. All right, Kelly's giving me a thumbs up, you guys. I, uh, I think that means that we potentially have a person who has all five numbers that have been called. So let's see if anybody else is, oh, there it is, Jean Terwilliger. Yay, Jean. Okay, so what I need from Jean, I need Jean to write out her five lucky numbers in the comment section, and then we are going to validate them. Um, we are going to validate them and make sure that they match what Kelly's got, which they should. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you know, Kelly's already like said, oh, there it is. Perfect. So this is what we do when you win. So a three, a six, mm -hmm. 11, 23, and 25. That's two thumbs ups, girlfriend. Yay, Jean. I'm so excited for you. All right. That took a lot of numbers, actually. It did. That, <laughs> I was getting nervous wasn't right. I'm like, what's going on? That's good. Well, so we're going to mix these all up, you guys. I will mix them now so they get all shuffled back together. And then we're going to set these off to the side. Yes, a big congratulations to Jean Terwilliger. Now, Jean, I don't know if you remember or not what the prizes are, but I'm going to show them really quick here so you can see what's available, which is all of them at the moment. If you can just post in the comments which one you'd like, then I will have Kelly put a post-it note on it for you and um, we'll set it off to the side. <sighs> I have to say, you guys, we try our best. When we kit, when we prep, when we cut, we try, we try our darndest to make it perfect. And you guys, and Sandy Wicklinder knows this about me, I'm a type A personality and I like things to be perfect. <laughs> and I've had to like learn to let go. Things don't always have to be perfect, but I'm really sad when I find out that they're not perfect. And Deb Norman uh, brought something to my attention with the kits for you guys today. Uh, she said that one of the bases is scored incorrectly and she wanted me to know right away so that I could address it with you guys and tell you how to fix it. Um, it's sad when we mess up and we have to like mail out more stuff or if we like had a big mess up. Well, this one's not that, it's not that crazy. It is a little baby mix up, not a mix up, but the mm -hmm. score line is on the wrong spot on the paper. And she wanted me to tell you guys all before you fold your paper, like, so your paper's folded at the moment, but where the score line is incorrect is actually not what we folded. So I think I want to like call it out right away and get this card done first so that in case you guys have to leave and you don't catch the rest of the video that that you know how to do this card. And so I think that's where we're going to start. But first, we still need to start with cutting our paper. Um, so I do want to thank Deb Norman for bringing that uh, to my attention. Um, Deb, I don't know if the PDF tutorial was incorrect or if it just the scoring was incorrect. Um, so if, if anybody's got the tutorial in front, we'll, we'll go over that um, in a moment. But to get started, I want to show you the four cards we're going to make. So from the outside, the cards look like they're very intensive on the DSP. Mm -hmm. And that is because when you get this pack, so this was the goodie bag, um, big call out. So you get the, the roll of the Blommy Blue Sparkle Ribbon. You get a package of these glitter sequins. Which I believe they're gone now. I think if you go to the online store that they're not available. So um, yay, you got your pack. A big call out, shout out. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to Karen Wettstein. Mm -hmm. Karen Wettstein took all of everybody's papers that looked like this and she cut them in half. Like she cut them in half down the middle and then you got one side or the other side. I hate cutting animals or critters or characters in half um, right through the middle. And if I would have cut this um, six by six like this, you would have lost your characters or your, your peeps here. And so Karen went through and she cut everybody's sheet like this in half and she cut everybody's sheet like this in half. And so you might have it wonky on one side and it might curve in on the other. And that's just so that we didn't have to kill any animals for class today. So every animal was spared, except for the ones that were <laughs> um, originally not printed on the paper all the way. So call out, you guys. So Karen Wettstein did all of that. You know, she did 68 of them like that. So thank you to Karen. Yay. Um, so perennial postage is what um, it was chosen here. Jean Terwilliger. Okay. okay. Um, and also, 
Jill Butstein is not able to attend in person tomorrow night, so she let me uh, take her kit, and we're making her kit up tonight so I could yeah. sell my sample kit off to one more person. So that's why there's one left. So, all right. So talking about the DSP, you guys will have something that looks like this, something that looks like this, and then we this needs to be fussy cut, and we'll talk about that. But what we're going to do is we need to pull out, so this is how this paper kind of looks, and you've got, um, you're going to be using this piece on that card. Uh, this piece gets used on this card right here, and there's two of them. So you have an extra. You also have this as extra. You could save it for your envelope. This piece and this piece. So you're going to have to figure out which one you want to use. I think my sample card uses this piece, um, but this piece would work as well. So I'm going to do this one, and then this guy right here is what we're using for green, and you'll have this piece. So you could set these four off to the side for the moment. And then Kelly's waiting on standby here because she wants to see what she needs to fussy cut. Yeah. And she's going to be my Vanna White tonight. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like a lot from the outside, but uh -oh. it's the inside. So let's oh, talk about right. this. right. I've seen the pictures. Yes, the pictures. <laughs> so you guys have a sheet that looks like this. There, you should have two of the tree with the bear with the bunny putting the star on. And... One faces one way, one should face the other way. So what you need to do is grab one of those out right here. And that's what gets put on this one. So I'm going to hand it off to Kelly. Here's a paper scissors. Thank you. So she's going to start cutting that one. On the inside of this one is a little bear with a present on his head. So, oh, there he is. I've got a bear with a present on the head. So you can cut him. Then on this one, there's a bear with a sweater. So you guys, it was these were strategically designed so that you could use your critters and they kind of split up between all the cards. On the inside, we put a deer and a bear with a scarf. <laughs> Here's the bear with a scarf. And then there's a deer. And the, the deer comes from the other sheet here. So what you could do, I did in the PDF tutorial... I did post pictures of the insides of the cards. So um, Karen says she likes cutting paper. She does. So um, what we're doing is just getting our critters set aside right now so that Kelly can work on cutting them for us. This one is where the two seals come in. And so there's a seal here and a seal here. So let's get those out of here. So this one and this one, right? So that is what I need for animals here, critters here. This one has a tree and three wolves. Okay, so let's look where we're going to find them. So here's your wolf, your wolf, your tree, your tree. Your... So this section right here. Uh, unfortunately, there are no dies. Uh, there's no punch for these. I'm so sorry, you guys. You will... Ugh, I don't know if you they're really on the inside so if you really really hate fussy cutting you there's only one card that's really two up that are on the outside so what I wanted to do is pull these out and this pile is what I'm going to give to Kelly so that she can start she's yeah and so no 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 you got oh Kelly's checking in for her airport her flight hi Neek <clears throat> so, so Mary Sykes yes yeah, so Mary just called out that she only has one seal that's okay you know, Mary, you could put uh, something else on the inside of your card. It depends on, you could put this on the inside of your card, the little bear here. You guys, you're going to have to be strategic. You could put the big bear. Look, this big bear, he could go on the inside of the card. You, you guys, the paper got cut in a way that it must be, so this was, this was the one <clears throat> that has the seals. Um, so, like, there were two up here and one down here. Mary, look at the other half of your paper. Maybe it's there. I would think if I grabbed a full sheet of paper, we can kind of see, like, we split them in half. Um, but if for any reason, like, your seal, like, this is cut off, you know, you could use this, you guys. How you would use this? Look at that. He could be, you could angle it just right. You know, we did this the other day. We You could cut this at the right angle and he's swimming onto your page there's no reason why you couldn't use this one right here that's on the edge of the paper okay so all of these little guys 
Um, you can make it work. Perfect, Mary. So, but it's a good to call that out in case somebody else is wondering too, well, I only have one seal. Like this guy too, you know, his butt is cut off, but there's no reason why you can't have him coming onto the paper on the inside. Like he's walking onto the page, right? Um, okay. So Feline only has one seal. Um, yeah. So perfect though. If you only have one seal, that's okay. You have other things that you can use. There's like, this was what's left out of all the paper from this pack that, that uh, Jill had. Okay. So we've got our animals pulled up. Now we get to cut some paper. They're not the craziest of cuts. So this shouldn't be too painful. I'm hoping. Um, I just need to know, Oh, there's my trimmer right in here. <clears throat> so let's start with the blue one. This one's super easy. Oh, what's that down there? A tree. Okay. This is actually a five and a quarter by four mat. It's like the easiest like mat you could cut. You just, I think the hard part is figuring out where do you want to cut your paper? Because look, this is actually, so this is the paper. Let's see how this works actually. There is, there is, I should have brought the full pack of paper down here. Um, you guys are going to have to envision the full sheet of paper is like a 12 by 12 like this and you got one half or the other half. So some of you are going to have a card that looks like this and thank goodness I pulled out gin, Jill's. I had no idea. But the other, the other, it like, it marries up I think on this side over here. Something like this. They, there, it must go and there's a little gap in the middle because I cut some off. So the whole paper has just this icicle, iceberg, bears on the bottom, and all blue on the top. So then you'll be able to use the others too. Yeah, you know, everybody got different things. Um, hi, Susan Ray Hendricks. What, what you need to now do is figure out what portion of this will look good on here and then figuring out where you're going to put your label, okay? So for Jill's here, I know I need five and a quarter by four, but I feel like I could get rid of, like I'm gonna try to take this four inch section that's right here is what I'm gonna do. And I only can get five and a quarter wide. So I feel like I'm gonna cut off a little here and I'm gonna cut a little here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is cut just a hair off the bottom here so that I lose a little bit of the iceberg. And I'm gonna see once where four inches gets me over here. I think that's a nice pattern section here. So this could be used for something else. But now we're too long. So now you have to figure out, well, what portion are you gonna cut off off the left and the right? And if you want to, you could cut a little bit. So here, you guys can see my card. You can see where to cut it. Where this one, you can watch me see how to cut. So that, I didn't even measure it. But now I know I need to get five and a quarter on this side. So let's put it there. And I'm not even gonna cut his butt off. So we're good. So this is what my pa my piece is gonna look like for this card. So again, you guys, your paper got split up that you either got a piece that looks like this or like this. Interchangeable though. The card's still ultimately gonna look the same. I'm just gonna put my label probably in the middle up here versus covering up the bears. I hope that makes sense, you guys. So that's that one. The same thing kind of happens with this one. Um, well, and just to show you a different card. So this piece of paper is what got used here. Ultimately, I just wanted the tracks to be going vertical. I don't really want them going horizontal because on the inside, it opens up and you really want it to be vertical. So just to show you what the other pattern looks like, what I'm going to do is you have to pick and choose. If you do want both of the presents on here, you could tilt this and have your feet prints or your footprints going this way and put the this guy like he's actually that might look really cool so one moment we're gonna flip this this way and I know it needs to be five inches by three and three quarters right that's what I have for a mat for those that like sixteenths of an inch you could you could also mm, let's look at the kit really quick because I think that I might have made this piece bigger than normal. Just one moment. I think I made it actually five. Ah, I made it four and a sixteenth. Nope, that's five and a quarter by four. Okay, 
So we're back. Okay. So I just wanted to double check you guys. Math, you want to make sure you, what, what is the saying? Measure twice. Measure twice, cut wow. once. So this is five and a quarter by four. So your mat should be five by three and three quarters. But for those people that like my whole sixteenths of an inch going on, you would do five and a sixteenth by three and thirteen sixteenths. Okay. And we talked about, I want both of my presents on here. So what I'm going to do is cut this and this. When you guys see what I'm doing, I think it'll make sense. But we're going to do 3 and 13 sixteenths, which is the width I need for my mat. And now I want to cut a little off the top and a little off the bottom. So I'm not going to even worry about a measurement on this side. And I'm going to now worry about getting my 5 and a sixteenth on this side. Because I like the little footprints better. All right. So this is my mat now. You can see I just have a little blue border all the way around. And now this one's going vertical footprints and this one's going horizontal. And it's okay, I'm gonna show you, it'll look cool, okay? So that's, that's, that's it for, oh, the inside. That one's that. This one has a little bit of blue snowflakes on the inside. That is actually from this piece right here. I didn't want to waste it, so we might as well use it, right? So this is five and a quarter high, and I think that this is like, what? so depending if you guys cut it at four, four inches, this is like two and an eighth, so I'm just going to cut it at one and a sixteenth. It's basically cut this in half, right? And if you're off a little bit, it's really not gonna, like people aren't gonna catch that. You know, they're just the side things, just to add a little bit of color in here. Okay, so that's, that's that. All right, then this one, all right? That's this pattern. And remember you have different, let me show you the other one, all right? So this one, it looks like, so this, side is the opposite because I was looking for this little bear here with the present. Jill's doesn't have that. That must be the opposite side, which is okay. The card is still going to look about the same. <clears throat> I do really like these two here, which is kind of like where that section would go right here. And then this little guy, he's going to be up here above. So I think I'm going to grab that one. Um, so kind of look at your paper before you start chopping it up. This one is, I'm going to see, that's this one. And I'm believing that it's also, yep, five and a quarter by four. We tried to make it simple. So this is the same thing as the last one. Do you want it five by three and three quarters? Or do you want it a hair bigger? I like a little hair bigger. So I'm going to do my three and 13 sixteenths. I like the margin or the matting a little bit better. Okay, so there, that's done. And now I'm gonna flip it this way. But now you gotta be careful because <clears throat> if you cut it here, you're cutting the bear's head off and he's gonna go headless. We don't want a headless bear like walking off the page, right? <laughs> so you wanna be strategic about this. I'd rather cut off his butt than his head. And so, right? All right, so we're gonna cut this just in front of his nose, right? So be very careful. <clears throat> Something like that. And now let's flip it over and see once where five and a sixteenth takes us. It does cut off his butt a little bit. So you could swing it back and you could trim a little bit more off the end here, right? Now <laughs> he's really close to the edge. But now we're cutting off a very little amount of his butt. None at all. None at all. Look at that. His butt and his nose made it. Also, okay. Awesome. Boarding B12. Are okay. My heart rate can like Kelly can take a, a chill now because she got boarded for, or she got, she got checked in for her flight. All right. So you guys see how I worked that? I knew what my end size was, but I needed just to make sure that I didn't cut my critters like that. So that's perfect. It's different than this one, but it still will look good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now on the inside, there's no other DSP besides our critters. All right, there's one card left. 
it's this one. This is the one where we gotta talk. Let's talk, let's talk. There is a scored incorrect, that goes for one of the kits. It's scored incorrectly in one spot. Okay, <clears throat> so when you guys got your kit, it was folded like this, right? That's how we fit it into your kit. These score lines were not um, folded. So if you watched me do a live the other day, you caught how you can erase a score line. So we're gonna try to do that um, because ultimately, and then we need to do a little trimming. So I held this up to the card after Deb told me that it was incorrect. I'm like, oh shoot, with like capital letters. This one's correct, this one's correct, this one's correct. And this one is a half of an inch um, in too far and we need to cut an eighth of an inch off. Okay, so two things. We need to score it differently um, we need it to go a half of an inch out further here. So I think what Deb told me was it's at nine and an eighth. It needs to go to nine and five eighths. And then we need to cut an eighth of an inch off. So we're going to cut our DSP first. And then I'm going to show you how to fix this. It will be okay. I promise it will be okay. But our measurements here. So um, I like the horizontalness of it. So when we're cutting this, we need to cut this at five and a quarter off one end. And depending, so we need to cut off three quarters of an inch. So when we go to five and a quarter, like this cuts it right through my tree pattern. And that's not so cool with me. So I'm going to cut it above, like so that my tree pattern doesn't get cut off. All right. For the footnote, if you want me blue at four in the DSP of which, well, you know, so everyone isn't confused. Okay. So Karen said on the PDF tutorial for the card with the footprints on it, you have the balmy blue at five and five sixteenths and four and a sixteenth and the DSP at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Good call. The DS, so the, the PDF, the ratios are correct, but I believe what just happened is our mat got cut at five and a quarter by four. And so you would want a little bit less. If you do go with your DSP at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, it's just going to see less balmy blue. So what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm cutting just below the trees here. And now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. And then I'm only cutting a little bit off this side. I just didn't like the thought of cutting my trees in half down there. Okay, so now we need, this is a one inch strip. Okay, and these are one and seven eighths. Okay, measure twice, cut once. And what happens is they, you know, they, you're gonna cut them all in a row. They're not necessarily gonna match up like this seam to this seam because of the fold over. But we need a one inch. So we're gonna do one inch. I'm pretty sure I didn't measure that one, you guys, but I, I, it's one inch, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one inch. All right, so one inch, right? Okay, we also need a one and seven A's. We need another one and seven A's. And then we need a one inch. And look at, we have almost no paper left. Look at that. You're gonna have an eighth inch left that you can do whatever, make something pretty with this, right? Okay, so you have your one inch strip, one inch strip, and then your one and seven eighths go in here, okay? So that's the DSP. Now, <clears throat> we need to do a little for a fixin', <laughs> okay? So the scoreboard is sitting, um, I wanna get my scoreboard. Oh, I see it, hang on. One you more. have eyes, like, good, good job. Yeah. So, if you don't have a scoreboard, grab your bone folder. Um, what, what we need to do, this one's right, this one's wrong. So find where the hum, so this divots down, this divots up. I would recommend taking your bone folder and you can tr like push the fold. This is a learning how to fix a mistake, everybody. I've heard that you like it when I show you how to fix mistakes. Who hasn't scored their paper incorrectly, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. So erase as much as you can. Like that will help it. But I noticed that it still has a little humpty hump. For, um, if you have a scoreboard, this is where if you take it and you put it right in the track and take your stylus and kind of like lightly press down, 
that's going to also help erase your little humpty hump, right? So what we're doing first is we're erasing our score line as best as we can. So let's try to pretend it's not even there, right? Then you could also go back, take your bone folder, and I know, thank you for doing all that. Well, Jill thanks you too. So we're just taking it and we're trying to erase that score line. So it's, it's smoothed it out. It's a little bit flatter. Um, you could also, on this side, I would, wouldn't do more, but I would take the bone folder and you can kind of go, okay? So now what needs to happen is it's ultimately one and a quarter from the end is where it needs to go. And so what we're gonna do is put this here and score it. So everybody needs to do this because everybody uses incorrect. You need to just score it at one and a quarter, okay? So what happens is for the majority of that score line, when you have it, it's actually gonna fold this way then. This piece will cover up, well, wait. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> I should have scored it from nine and five eighths from this end because what happened is it was also an eighth inch too long. We talked about this when I first started and I didn't, I didn't follow through on cutting that eighth of an inch off. So <laughs> you guys wait for it, wait for it. We need to cut an eighth of an inch off. So the paper was actually 10 and seven eighths. These darn fun folds, they are definitely complicated. You guys, we have to cut off. <clears throat> an eighth of an inch and now what happens is do you remember I just said it's a quarter one and a quarter inch away poor Jill's thing here um but when we have this all set I gotta erase this you guys you get to watch me erase again so I'm just gonna go like this you guys the struggle is real we all make cards we all make mistakes right so now you've seen me do it twice I only want you to to not do this <laughs> So let's erase this. What Deb Norman told me in my text messages, she's like, it should be scored at nine and five ace. And um, I should have done that because then I wouldn't have had to worry about it. So <laughs> I was going to say that. So we're going to try this again now. <clears throat> Ultimately, it's one and a quarter. And then it's three and um, three ace. It's at seven and a half, and it should be at nine and five eighths, which is right here, right? That's where it should be. Now that I cut the eighth of an inch off, it's it ultimately it should be a one and a quarter from each side. Now, when you put your DSP into this section, that's right now, and then this one fits in there now too. Okay, so. Oh. So, Barbara, the PDF is correct. Karen Wettstein, can you confirm that the PDF is correct? Karen, I think that I think I think that Deb and Karen told me that the PDF is correct. I just think there was an error in communication. And I had I had my helper score, and I think I had her score incorrectly. I think there was a me measurement incorrect. So I'm just gonna repeat these, you guys. When you put your piece of paper down here, the first score line is correct, one and a quarter. The second one is correct at three and three eighths. The third one was correct at seven and a half. The next one needed to be at nine and five eighths. Okay, nine and five eighths. And then the paper gets cut at 10 and seven eighths. Okay, Mary Lemke, did you hear that? I'm hoping that you heard that because I just saw your message come in. So, so Carmen Melinda is the, the score. I'm going to repeat this one more time for everybody because I made a mistake. I want to make sure everybody's on board with it. So one and a quarter, three and three eighths, seven and a half, nine and five eighths. This is 10 and seven eighths long. You need to cut off an eighth of an inch. Yes. Yeah. It was just an error with the my helper. It was not my helper's fault. Not at all. It was... Uh, just a, an error on the score lines when they got scored, um, the communication. So you guys, everybody, so Barbara Godby, you just said that you, is the PDF updated yet? The PDF does not need to be updated. It was just an error on the score line with, um, it was a miscommunication. 
yeah, the physical product. So, but I'm going to make the card with you right now. And for those of you that don't have the extra paper, that's where I wanted to show you. We're going to erase the score line and rescore it at nine and five eighths, cut off your eighth of an inch and you should be good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the process of making our berry Christmas cute card here. So it's very nice that the actual paper wasn't folded on the score line because once the paper's folded on the score line, that's hard to erase. But once the paper, you know, if the paper wasn't, it wasn't. So you guys, it was nice. They were just folded back. And so, all right. So what we need to do here, I want to make sure I fold it on the correct, the correct one, which is, yep, it's that one right there. Fold that back. Okay. Oh, and then I did fold it on the wrong one. It needs to be that one. Perfect. Okay. And then this guy goes here. And then this one is going to go here. Oh, and we were make sure our glue, our trees all the same. Okay. <clears throat> so once you have it folded, that's where you can burnish it. Okay. All right, so we have here, we're gonna make sure our trees are all facing the same way that we don't have upside down trees. Okay, so what we can do is we can flip all of these over and we're going to glue these all down. All right, Karen confirmed it again and Deb confirmed it, the measurements on the PDF. So if anybody doesn't want to use the paper that I gave them and you have a darker green, it's actually mossy meadow, you're welcome to recut it, but. I don't think I'm going to be resending a piece of <clears throat> mossy metal when you can unscore it and then rescore it. So we're just going to glue this guy. I feel like it is a fix that we can make ourselves. And you guys, you learn we're card makers, right? We make mistakes and we fix them, right? There are no mistakes. They're just happy accidents. So we're just making sure we glue these all on like this. And then this one goes, lastly, over here. Okay? So, all right. There you go. So, we're still opening up. The only thing that you are potentially going to see is a little bit here. And you guys, if that bothers you, all you have to do is grab this piece of paper here. And you could cut two more panels. And you could put them right just make sure you line up your trees though remember because you cut a little bit off here and a little bit here you could in essence put two more panels on the inside and no one would ever even know that that score line was there it's going to be completely hidden all right so just another way to, to fix it all right Whew, we're back on track and we are going to and then you'll have a little bit catch this you guys if you do cut the the two pieces here, you'd have this section left here and you could put some of these presents on the outside of your envelope here. All right, so you have here an old olive for your inside, a basic white. Now Rhonda Ayers did all your, your embossing for you. She embossed some snowflakes on here. Tammy and her mom Sandy did the die cutting for you and that goes on here. And then you're gonna have a little label here for a sentiment. And then we're going to need our balmy blue ribbon. Do they overlap? Mine does slightly, Debbie. It does. Mine overlaps just a hair. Like if you look at it, right? I don't know if you can even see it. It is a hair, just a hair. Um, but that's okay. The inside section here is still going to, it's, it's it, like when it shuts, it will still shut. And it will still fit in your envelope because the card is about four and a, an eighth. Now, if you, I think what's happening, Debbie, and I know if you're a perfectionist like me, hi, Mitzi Stanley, if you go to recreate this card later, what you would do is not cut off the eighth of an inch on the other end. And I think we would have scored this here one more eighth out and this one here, one more eighth out. But the fact that this overlaps like this isn't going to affect the integrity of the card. It'll still open like this and your mats still fit right in the inside. So, but this exact card, if you change the, 
if you cut off that eighth of an inch and then you rescore it, you're going to have it overlap slightly. It's going to happen that way. So, whew, my goodness, what a crazy card. We started with the hardest one, you guys, and then we're, it's only going to get easier. So we have a little bit of stamping to do here. So we're going to grab the Merry Christmas. You don't know what you don't know until you know, right? Mm -hmm. That is the truth. So we're doing a Merry Christmas right there. And then warm wishes is what's going to go on the inside, which is sitting right here. So let's get that warm wishes on here. Yeah, the paper is so pretty. Mitzi said that. Okay, so we're going to do warm wishes right there. If you wanted to, okay, putting this out there to those that like things um, exactly perfect, you could, if you wanted, you could trim your old olive hair. And you could trim this a hair, but really when you open it up, there's a lot of dark green going on, so you probably are okay. All right, <laughs> yes, that's it for stamping, you guys. All right, so let's flip these, flip this. The DSP is stealing yeah. the show. The DSP steals the show with these cards. So when I started to design these cards, I was like, well, the DSP is so pretty. I want it to be the focal point. I'm just going to be putting this on here diagonally. Make sure you have your snowflakes right. Um, but then I'm like, well, how do I make these cards intense for you guys so that they're like a challenge or that they're a little bit of a workout and that you guys are going to like want the class because it's just the outside looks so simple. It's putting the fun folds on the inside that make these cards so cool. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Mitzi. I appreciate that. You guys... Oh, yeah, like this was a mine. When Deb told me that it was scored incorrectly, I'm like, well, oopsie daisy. I did it. She got all the stuff that fussy was, cut. Yay. That was intense. When Deb told me that I had a little bit of the score line wrong, I'm like, oh, well, we can handle that. <laughs> like, if now if you were missing an entire piece of an important piece of paper or a die cut, then I would have been fretting more. Okay, so you saw what I did here? I even got glue on here. So I'm just going to wipe it a little bit, let it air dry, and we're going to come back and get rid of it. All right, so now we need our tear and tape. Oh, Marsha, you're very welcome. The girl, all the ladies love to help. I'm putting this over here on the side, and then we're going to grab this, and we're putting the tear and tape on the back bottom left side, and that is where our ribbon's going to go. Now, I'm I'm glad, Feline, you're watching first, too, <laughs> and that you can get your animals fussy cut while we're doing this. Yes. Yes, you guys, that is exactly sure it. Feline has hit the nail on the head. Cut your, fu your fussy cut your people while we're making cards. Then you can watch how to do things. Now, this ribbon is dumb to me because it's pretty on one side and not pretty on the other side. It's kind of boring. So what you have to do for this is you have to twist this ribbon to make it so that you see the sparklies. So what happens is... Um, we're going to do one here, and then when we flip this, we have to twist it so that you see the sparkly come down like that, okay? That's that. But now if you bring the ribbon out, you're going to see it crooked. So that's why you have to work with this ribbon. Now you cut this off, and that's where you're going to put another piece of tear and tape. Be careful. You do not want to put anything past that middle point there and now what you're going to do is grab your loose end here and you're going to have the tail come out and it's going to make it look like it's all pretty on i'm going to cut a little longer because i can always trim the end off and then now we're going to put another piece of tear and tape over that okay that's how you need to do this ribbon all right kelly look what she just did for me my miss vanna white oh. whoop, whoop, whoop. yay so we got all of our critters ready that was a little fussy cutting workout so this guy right here He's going to go in the middle, and I'm going to set this like that. All right, hold that down. And then this is going to go right about here. All right, so we have to be very careful because we don't want to put any adhesive over the middle point of the card. And so um, the other thing, too, nothing right here. So to be safe, better be safe than sorry, we're going to put, we're going to guess right about there, and we're going to put our dimensionals right through here and we're going to kind of set this up to make sure we're good right so now you can pick these off and 
Ha ha ha. You guys thought I was going to put it on upside down, didn't you? <laughs> I know you did. All right. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. It goes like something like this. Okay. So I've got my peaks kind of meeting the gap here. Mind the gap. Okay. So there's that. I'm amused tonight. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. And then this is going to go up here. And then our little label is going to come this goes like this. It's like he's grounded then, okay? So I am going to pop up the top here and the sides a little bit. Kelly, did you make the cover photo for burgers and beignets? I did not. That's something you could do tonight. Okay, I'm going to do a quick video. Yeah, I will Yep. I was just going to do a quick video, but I just talked in it. Walkthrough of all of all of this. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, just, didn't mean no, to. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll do it again. Nope. I just I want to save it, and you can post it if you want. But okay. This is impressive. Yeah, Kelly's taking. I'm gonna be quiet for. Do you want me to be quiet? I don't know. I don't know if you can hear that part away. Okay. So you guys, you just, you know your what you have to do is this gets slipped underneath here, and you want adhesive here, but not here, and not hanging over. So what I did here is I've got that tear and tape. I think I'm going to do a little bit more tear and tape right here like that. And then what we're going to do is lift up their feet and put a little liquid glue there. So Karen Wettstein. So Karen helps me proofread my tutorials, you guys. And um, what Karen, I'd love if you could help me out here. I'm going to tell you what, what these should be. And you could just double check in case they are not correct. But here's what we did, you guys. This is just like this. Um, I'm going to open this up, and I'm just going to read these off real quick. The, the sample card. The sample card is scored at one and a quarter, three and three eighths. So that didn't change. Seven and a half didn't change. This is nine and five eighths. And this is ten and seven eighths. So that... And they, but mine don't overlap in the middle here. But I did, oh, they do overlap slightly. My sample does overlap just a little bit. So, but again, this overlaps as well, but it's actually kind of cool when it overlaps. That little bit of green, that eighth inch, actually matches everything. If it didn't overlap, you would have it double green in the middle like that. So, <laughs> all right. All right, she's men mentally on vacay. <laughs> All right, then we're going to take our ribbon scissors and trim this little ribbon a little bit. And we open this up. We have one little critter to put in the inside and it is our little, our little bear with a present on it. So you've got the Christmas tree on the outside and you've got a bear bringing you a present on the inside. Hmm, cat said, even with the replay, it's going to take forever to make. Mm -hmm. Take your time, you guys. It's not a rush. It's a, it's a card. This is a card making marathon here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, to save a little time, I won't Stella anything tonight, but in my instructions, I always have on here to Stella, Stella it up good. And it's like a gatefold is what you would call this kind of card. And then again, you don't have anything on the back here, so you don't see any like ribbon or um, glue coming out the back. And again, if that bothers anybody seeing this line, you guys have extra DSP we talked about, just taking and cutting, match up your piece here, match it up, and then cut a panel for here and here, and it'll really finish off the card. And then when you have your leftovers of this, take that and put it onto the flap here like that. Glue that right onto the flap. And you should have enough here for these two sections if you cut it correctly. Cut it correctly. All right. Whew. Last but not least is the embellishments. And so this is Jill's. These are Jill's cards. I don't want to take all of her fun away. But you guys have this whole pack of glitter sequins. And what I did is I used the green, a green, a green, a green, and a white. There are blue ones on here. You could definitely pull out and put some blue ones on. Uh, for some reason, I liked all green and white. So, yeah, it's your card. You can make it however you want to. Whew, okay. Can we say one done? <laughs>
Should you find this fun fold, make um, make several. Uh, I'm trying to read. There's a heart. Make several. Start out with copy paper. Yes, Anique. I did that for a tip Tuesday. You guys, I was thinking back to this, Kelly. You and I used to do, Kelly and I used to do tip and technique, tip Tuesday and technique Thursday. If you guys ever want some stuff to go back and look at, we did that for about two or two and a half years, every Tuesday and every Thursday. Inspiration galore. And that was actually a tip Tuesday about using copy paper before cutting your into your DSP. Definitely. All right. So we're going to set this card off to the side. I'll actually, you know, I'll leave it here in case you guys need to study it for, mm -hmm. to finish your homework assignment. Uh, it's correct. Okay, Karen. Yay. So Karen confirmed. Again, the PDF tutorial is correct. Karen is on it. Okay. So you guys, what we're going to do is play game number two. Game number two. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Can we do two and three card four mm -hmm. five? I think we're going to run tight. Otherwise. Okay. So, oh, so Kelly had a suggestion. Well, what are the, let's play a game, because we have five games. Mm -hmm. So if we make two, we play a game, make two cards, play a game, make two cards. And then the last game is usually what? You're usually not here. You want to play another, oh, you want to play two games. games. One ah, card, two games. Got it. Okay, I heard you backwards. Yep. So yep. Kelly, Kelly okay. asked me for a favor, which I think everybody will be fine with. We're going to play two games in a row. Normally we alternate, but because Kelly's got a hard stop in an hour, less than an hour, we're going to play two games, make a card, play two games, and then make the last two cards. Oh, two cards. Yep. In a row. Yep, that's Is that okay? So you guys are going to play two games now. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. So Kelly's like, I got to have her here to help me with the, the numbers, you guys. And My so. husband has had 10 days off and he's back to work tonight. Oh, tonight's the first night. Late on his first night, but I can't no, he can't be like definitely not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, we're transitioning. I st I'm stirring the pot, you guys. Hopefully, this Literally. is good. Okay, we're gonna go with this one first. Number seven. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, Kelly said it's a good start. Well, for her birthday's October 7th, it right? Is. So it's her anniversary. So seven is a favorite number of hers, I think. Hi, Shirley Malarkey. Seven. Or even white cardstock to have more room to write a note. Good. All right, you guys. Kali said it's a great card. Great. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Oh yeah. It's it's you guys. It still turns out good. So number seven. Number seven. All right. Let's do this one right here. All right. We have number five. The precious pine cones. Number five. Dead Norman. Right out the get go. She's got a five. So she is not skunked this game. <laughs> Yay. What a difference a game. Mm hmm. All right, let's do this one. Number 24 is above it all. Number 24, above it all. I don't think that was called last game. Look at that. That's like two numbers, I think, that weren't called last game. I don't remember them. Good shuffling. Good shuffling. 28. That's also a newbie. Yay, 28. 28. Okay, number 17 is a repeat. Modern Garden, number 17. 17. You guys, take a deep breath. We made it through that card. That card was a crazy card because of that scoring. And so just know that the rest of the three cards are not going to be that crazy. I don't think they will anyways. Number 18. And then they, it says me that, and then they will be. 18. And you like it. 18. Uh, number six, light the sky. Number six is light the sky. Look at you guys with your STs. Mm -hmm. All right, number 27, Mary and Bright. Mary and Bright. 27. We had 17 and we had 27. Thank you. Yep, you betcha. Oh, there's number 20. Oh, that was the first number last time. I remember that because I pulled out that card. Well, as long as I pulled out that card, I should pull out... The other three cards that feature sparkling snowflakes, but they're not here. <laughs> they're over yonder. Okay, so number 20. Number 20. Oh, here we go, you guys. Number two. Sending cheer. Number two. Number two. Kelly tells me I might have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, you guys. Oh, man. Feverish. Okay. She's got potentially a winner in store. Hold the phone, 
We're gonna hold the numbers only because she's got somebody, and I'm trying to remember if this person watching. is watching or not. Lynn Beasley. Lynn Beasley. Lynn, I'll need you to confirm your numbers. Oh, she got. Mm -hmm. I need some. I, Lynn, tell me your numbers. We're going to wait for Lynn to reply with her numbers. Okay, Lynn, Lynn, tell me your numbers. We're just waiting for Lynn to confirm her numbers. Oh, she said oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, but I still feel like there's somebody, and I don't know if Sherry Stewart is watching or not, but Sherry Stewart is the, who Kelly told me, so according to her spreadsheet, Lynn does not have um, stamp, so Lynn, I think you need the next number here to be called, um, she did misread her numbers, it was like, she was like so excited for it. Um, but you guys number, the number here that Lynn needs was not called. And I don't want to call it out loud because I don't want to confuse anybody, but Sherry Stewart is, um, lucky because she has five numbers and I don't know if Sherry Stewart, I'm calling Sherry Stewart to see if she is watching. Um, we are going to just have Kelly confirm her numbers really quick because, what we had said earlier is if people aren't able to watch for different various reasons, life, right? The main reason, life. We understand that. And so um, Kelly's going to pull up Sherry Stewart's numbers. Ready? I'm ready for Sherry Stewart's numbers, you guys. They are two. Number two. Okay. Seven. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty-eight. And twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah. So, so two... 7, 17, 20, and 28. So I do see here that Miss Sherry Stewart um, had all of her five numbers called. <laughs> if we would have called one more number, it might have been Lynn's, but I'm going to actually claim that Sherry Stewart would be our winner for this round. And how we do the winner is, so like this is what I told Shirley Malarkey. I said, Shirley, if you happen to win before we go, before you get on, and you're not able to pick your prize once you're watching. And if you win, you would be able to pick your prize. But um, if Sherry Stewart doesn't join us at any point throughout the night for like whatever reason, she's not able to get on because of life. Um, she would get to pick from the last of the, the two prizes that I have. So that's what keeps it fair so that people that are watching can pick their prizes. So I'm going to call it that um, so Barbara Godby had S-T-A-M. Yeah, so there were, there were, yeah, and Lynn had S-T-A. There were two of you guys that had S-T-A-M. So that was a very fast one. So you guys, we are going to flip that back down. So when Sherry Stewart, um, I'm going to say that she won game two. If Sherry joins us at any point, we'll have her pick a prize. And otherwise, I'll be waiting to talk to Hope. I almost did that. Mm -hmm. I'll have her... Um, get in touch with her before tomorrow because she has a package going out tomorrow as well. All right. So congratulations are in order to Sherry. That is true. Yes. <laughs> All right. You guys are done studying this card for the moment. Which one do we want to do next? All right. Let's Bingo. This one. Bingo. What? Oh, lucky numbers? Like, no, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys. Kelly's keeping I, me on my A game. Well. She's like, you're going to do one more game, girlfriend. My uh, anxiety is like just so, so Kelly, we're going to make sure that you're out of here at 8.15. I know, I know. So, so you guys, Kelly just reminded me that we're doing another game. So we're getting back out here. We're swirling it around. I'm so happy that Deb Norman got her number called, at least one of them. <laughs> so they're all in here. All right, you guys. The first number is this guy right here. Number one. Well, there you go. There we go. Number one is number one. All right. Tricks and treats. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. <laughs> we still say that. Yes, we do. All right, this guy right here. Number. Th oh my gosh, that happened last time. Number thirty. That's fine. That is funny. So what funny anecdote about that little song. Um, apparently, yes, it is still all around because my kindergartner came home. Yep. Learned it at school. school. Yep. Okay. But it still exists. It still exists. All right. Lisa Sharkey has an S. Yep, Lori Baxter said, nope, another game. <laughs> yep, you guys know the drill now. 
Okay, so that was one and 30. Okay, let's do this guy right here. Number 10, very good, translucent florals. Oh my goodness. You guys, we had this class on Monday and that was only two days ago. And we went into this class having like nine or so left and they're gone. Oh my gosh, you guys love the translucent floral stamp stack The paper is exquisitely beautiful. Okay, we have one, 10, and 30. Mm -hmm. This one's next, right here, it's calling my name. 14, for Fragrant Forest. Number 14, we got the S's rolling in. Number 14, that goes over here. All right, all right, lots of S's and some T's. The cats are all sleeping, you guys. Did you notice that they're not like lurking in the background? <laughs> all right, that next number is 24. Number 24. Ooh, here's a new one, I think. Bag of Bones, number 15. That was our sweet class for the month of September, number 15. All right, Bag of Bones. I bet that, I think a lot of people picked that. How a lot of people picked number 10, didn't they? There was probably, I'm trying to remember, was number seven the like the most called or most picked number, I think? Yeah. Like 18 people yeah. picked that number. I don't want to say it again because it wasn't really called. <laughs> um, 27 is called, though. Merry and Bright. Yay. That was our sweet class for October. All gone. Look at Deb Norman, ST. Yay. Let's do this guy. Oh, here's number nine. Very cute. Number nine. Oh, Susan Warmly has got ST. Sandy Suetta's ST as well. Oh, let's go with that one. Oh my, number two. Number two. I must have been sending that one wavelengths mm. because I like that number. This one looks sad. Let's do this one. Number 21. Marius Trees. I don't think that one's been called yet. Mary's Trees, we featured that in, um, I think, the October monthly class, number 21. Number 21. Let's go. 28. You guys, Medley Mix. This stamp set bamboozled me. It's in the holiday mini catalog, and I didn't realize it was even there. And when I saw it on the online store, I'm like, oh, a new stamp set. And I bought it. And I'm like, Oh, but it's in the catalog. So it really bamboozled me because I didn't realize it was in the holiday mini catalog. And um, it matches the mm, mixed medley. It's um, the lovely and linen. Ah, there's a stamp set. There's a, there's something in the catalog, like the annual catalog of the punch. Um, it was in the, like the tiles, the timeless tiles. So, all right. I think we're getting close, aren't we? There's Debbie Gass says, sad face, no yumbers yet. I was trying to, this is inked and tiled is the name. I was thinking lovely and linen, but it's inked and tiled is the punch that matches that. So Kelly says we're one number away yeah, from. Yeah, and there's a lot of people at STAM. There's a lot of people. Oh my goodness. Okay. Number 25. Stars at night. Mmm, number 25, Stars at Night. We had that one last game or the game before. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Number 19. Oh, Jenna, help me out there. <laughs> she knew I needed a lead. Um, uh, she threw me a bone, yes. Inked and tiled. For some reason, I had lovely and linen in my head. So, number 19. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Oh man, okay, this, I gotta make some room here because I feel like this goes here, 19, 21, there, 19 is over here. All right, back on track here. Okay, we're gonna shuffle these around. Look at, there's there's people out there. Lisa Sharkey's got STAM. Mm -hmm. Susan Belly's got, Mo has it. Okay, all right. Number 22, Graceful Deer. Number 22. Mm, we're gonna keep her moving. Keep her moving. I'm sweating. <laughs> Kelly is sweating in her seat, you guys. Oh. Dev says, unlucky night, but I'm getting your cards made. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this guy. Number six, light the sky. We already had that one in the past, you guys. I might have shown you our, our awesome New Year's card. 
Okay. Kelly's shaking her head. She's shaking her head. Deb Norman, all your numbers are in here. No, we had a number for you at yeah. some point. Let's do this one. Uh, Christmas Classics, number 29. 29. Who's biting their nails at home? Oh, me on. Linda Kester's got S-T-A-M. Oh, Mary Vogel's got S-T-A. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to keep swirling these around. Okay. Let's see if curved occasions, number 23, will do it. 23. You got to sneak that in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kelly? I think we got it. Kelly thinks she's, we've got it. Oh man. She's writing a name down. Let's see if anybody online watching, because Karen Stagg's really close. Oh man, oh man. Oh, Deb has three called. Okay, so very good. Patsy, thanks for, I, help. yeah. So we didn't skunk Deb Norman this time. Yay, so, that's so we're, that's a win. Getting three numbers is, a, is, is better than no numbers, right? Does, I wonder, is anybody at this point missing? I guess Kelly would have to, I don't know how Kelly would have to do some fast figuring out to see if anybody is missing all their numbers, but she did, right, she did pull. She did pull out. There's yeah, one of you one, gals that just wrote S T A M. Two skunks. Two, two two people are skunks. Two, skunks. two people. All your numbers are right in this little little pile. Oh man, I'm holding the phone, you guys, because there's somebody that just posted S T A M, and they might be delayed just a little bit. And they do. Kelly did tell me that I pulled her numbers. So, oh, how many people had S T A M? 10 people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jenna was a, De Jenna, you're one of two people. Uh, so Jenna, not you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone. Who else was stumped? Can you easily tell that? Uh, yes, I can. It was Jenna Helms. And who else? Oh, sorry. That's the one you said. And Cheryl Bowie. Oh, Cheryl Bowie. All right, Mary Vogel. She said it. Mary, was this exciting? It's your first class ever with us. And you have stamp. So Mary, what I want for you to do is type your, in, your, in the comments here, type your five numbers. And what we're gonna do is set aside all the pieces here for a card. And we're gonna start working on it. While, and we're gonna pick this one because I think, I think, I think this one is relatively easy. And we're gonna pick an easy card and play two games because I've got Kelly. I got you for 45 minutes yet almost, yeah. 40 minutes. Okay. Well, I mean, so. Or you could go before. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> that would be awesome, too. Uh, so, you guys, we're pulling out the card kit, and it's sad. You probably looked at this card kit, and you're like, wow. Like, what is going on? She hardly put anything in her card kit. So, this one, you guys, there is a piece of white that gets married up that is outside of your kit. And it looks like, oops, I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. Oops, that's not it either. Hang on. One moment, there's a mouse under my chair. Okay, not a real one, you guys. Like, a fake one. Um, there is this piece right here. Oh, dang it. I don't know if I have the mouse. Um, I do. I need you to grab in the box. That's the first box that has the red and the blue. Yep. There's a white piece folded in half. There's a white piece folded in half. Yep, that. That's perfect. Okay. So, you guys, what happens here? Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What you guys got in your kit is something that looks like this. All right? So, it is a piece of paper that is ba it's basic white. It's scored at four and an eighth, five and an eighth, six and an eighth. And all we did was fold it in half. And I took the modern oval punch and I punched out the middle section for you. Right? It originally started with something like this. Right? And then I was going to show you all you do is you fold it in half and you punch out like the middle part. All right. So, Barbara, what is the white piece up in the top right? Is it one of the numbers? No, this is a label that came out of one of my kits when I pulled out stuff. So I'm waiting to find the kit that I thought it was this one, but it actually is for a different kit. So it's all good. Yeah, this is just a die cut stylish, um, a stylish square. So I'm hanging on to it. It's for one of my kids. So Mary says, yes, nine. 
21, 22, 23, and 25. All right, so good job, Mary. So you get to pick one of the prize packages and a great big congratulations to Mary. So you guys, for those that got stumped here or skunked, we're gonna mix in these numbers here. So there, I'm gonna set that off to the side. All right, so you guys are probably looking in your kit and you're like, wow, there's hardly any pieces. She shortened me pieces. Well, no, not really. It's a fun fold. So this guy goes here. And what you're gonna do is glue your designer series paper. It's really easy. Just glue it onto the front. And again, we talked about when we cut paper, yours is gonna potentially look mm -hmm. like this, or it's gonna look like this, depending on which card you got. And when you open this one up, it's a gift card holder, right? So you've got a spot to put a little you know, a check, um, cash, a gift card. And so what happens on this is when you, I've already punched it for you, this one needs to fold back this way and you want to burnish it. And then this one is going to fold back this way. Uh, try to make your ends meet if possible there, right? And what's going to happen is we're going to glue this in the inside like that. Yay. But before we glue it, it's going to be easier to do our stamping. And what I did is I pulled in a set that's called above it all and there's a nice little sentiment in here that says here's to a season full of wonderful cheer and what we're going to do is grab our knight of navy ink and we're going to stamp that we're going to set that there on the inside like right about here is that a cat there's a cat on the chair. Oh, okay. That is very true. The cats are sleeping on the chair. that meant the cats weren't out here. Oh, no, no, the cats are sleeping, oh, you guys. They're here. Sleeping. They're here. They're just sleeping okay. soundly oh. on the chairs. All right, so we're going to put Happy Holidays right here. Okay. All right, that's it. Two stamping things. If you want to stamp more, you guys are welcome to stamp more. It's your call. Then what we've done here is... I'm gonna glue one side, and then we're gonna glue, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in the middle of that, and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on one side here, okay? So that's a little glue action, and then this is like a diamond behind, so these two just get glued to, I just eyeball this to just make sure that the same amount of glue is on all the sides. Okay, that's easy, right? Glue that together. Now this one, what I'm gonna do, okay, so it opens like this. This was the top, right? I'm gonna glue the top in first. And I wanna make sure that I center, I can't be too much in the crack here either, right? Center it left to right, <laughs> too much in the fold, okay? I'm going to shut it just to make sure it shuts. Okay, it shuts. And I wanted to make sure that this is equal. And this right here, I do see a little bit of blue. And then when you shut this, it did shimmy out just a hair. Um, if you want to, you could pull it back a hair and get it wedged more in the middle and let that roll right over. So we've got a little bit of blue. We got the blue and we got the blue. Just make sure you try to get in there straight. Now what happens is you're gonna put glue on this back side like this and then put that flat. You're just gonna roll the card over, check it up right away because it's liquid glue. If you use liquid glue, you can finagle it a little, okay? So <laughs> it actually looks pretty centered to me. Um, I did notice that, so when I cut my paper on my big machine, it can be off a hair. And I did notice that on my sample here, like I've got a little bit more blue showing here than, than I, I would need to, but it's on the inside. And ultimately what we've got here is now this, because I've already punched that for you, you've got a spot to stick a gift card in there. And so gift card is usually about this size and so it 
just should barely fit in there like that, right? And when somebody opens it up, we're like, oh, yay, money, <laughs> okay? They won't maybe say it just like that, but they might be excited. <laughs> you could also take like a cash or like a, a check and fold that up and put that in here too. But ultimately it was scoring. So the paper was like nine and a quarter is what I think that the, like the length of the paper was. And it scored at four and an eighth, five and an eighth, six and an eighth. And then you should have like a good equal margin around it. So, that, okay. So that's that. Now, this little guy here. We need our Terran tape again. And we're going to put a couple here waiting in the wings. And we're going to put one. I'm going to put this on the right-hand side here. And same thing happens with this ribbon. This, you kind of catch the... Oh, I should probably have a little bit more tear and tape. I put it here, but I need some up the side here as well. Hang on. I'm going to grab another piece and have this one come up the side a little. All right. So we want to see this is coming out and it needs to come out. And then you got to twist it a little bit so that you see the sparkliness versus seeing the back side of it. Cut that off, and now I've actually got, we gotta grab the tear and tape, and we're going to put a tail coming out, and I'm gonna cut it longer, just in case I wanna angle it different. And we're going to put, because of this ribbon only being one-sided, you have to cut it every time, and now you're gonna make it look like there's another tail coming out. See if we can use that little bit right there. I'll cut it a little longer than what it needs to. Now this is really puffy on this side, so I wouldn't put more dimensionals there. I'm gonna actually pick that back off and we're going to grab our dimensionals and put dimensionals everywhere else. And before I put these down, we're gonna figure out where this is gonna look. So there's an empty space right here for me where I think we're gonna put this and we're gonna trim our tails so they're not <laughs> going over the, the the little guy here. So um, we're just going to set this down and then we'll trim our tails once it's on the card. So I feel like that could go right about here. I'm not centering it, but I'm putting it so it's flush here. And I'm kind of like putting it right between these guys. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our ribbon scissors and trim that one and that one. And then you can see most of his back then. Okay? So. All right. So the difference in the cards that you might end up with, right? One's going to either look like that. One's going to look like that. They're both adorbsy, cute cards. Um, the gems on here. Over the course of time, one of mine fell off. But I used to have like one here, one here, and here. And I only used the white. You could definitely pull in the balmy blue ones though. You know, they're more pool party than they are Bobby Blue. So that's why I think I stuck with just white ones on here. So on this card, you could do like one here, one here, and maybe one over there. And then when you open it up, that's where you have your gift card holder. Simple, right? It's the inside that makes it into a fun fold. All right. Nice surprise. Yay. Okay. See, I told you. Like that one went really fast. Like super, super easy. All right, so the main trick, you guys, is getting the one half glued in here, and then what you do is you, you fold it, put the glue on, and then just shut the card onto it itself. So there you go. All right, we have that one done. Yay. All right, that means we have a card done, Kelly. And Carrie want oh, Carrie. Kelly, I looked at Mary, and I was trying to say Kelly, and I said Carrie. <laughs> That's exactly how my mind rolls, works sometimes. Same computer. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. We're not great at it all the time. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all. So, all right. We so are we have, ready to play. and we have two more games, right? Correct. So this little guy, he goes with one of my cards. Okay. Okay. Ready for the heart to go really fast again? Yes. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. Kelly was getting oh, nervous over here. Like, she was like, "Oh my gosh!" For like the ten people that had STAM. All right, you guys. Let's get rid of that. 
So we're gonna swirl these around and Cheryl, Cheryl and Jenny, Jenna, we, we want to make sure that they're not skunked this time. Mm -hmm. All right. And swirl these around. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay. Number 30. 30. 30. Si, sí, correcto. All mm -hmm. right. Number 30. I know, very. 30, 30, you guys. For those that don't know the Sp Espanol, it is 30. <laughs> All right. So you guys love, Mary Shirley says she loves the card. Yay. Okay, cool beans. All right. So yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, you guys. All right. Well, let's grab this one right. He's hiding right down here. Number 27, Mary and Bright. Mary and Bright. I want this one right here. Mo, did Mary pick a prize? Mary, oh, did Mary pick a prize? Mo, you're on that. I appreciate you oh following up. Oh my gosh. Good, Good call. Honey. Good call. What do you got, honey? Oh, honey made it. Okay. Um, Mo, very good calling out of that. I really appreciate that. Mary didn't pick a prize that I saw. I don't know if anybody else saw it. But before we pick the next winner, it would be really good for Mary to pick out one of these bundles so that she can pick her, pick, pick her prize. Painted lavender, notes of nature. All right, so Mary... When you have a minute, just tell us what you want, what you really, really want. A zig a zig ah. Cheers to the season number 11. Number 11. Oh, there's our five, the pine cones. Number five? Number five, the pine cones. Okay. We're going to need a little more. Don't worry, we're not stressed yet. We're not stressed yet. Okay. Kelly said we're not stressed yet. <laughs> Here's number 14. Fragrant trees. Saw lots of cute cards with that. <laughs> Lori says she thinks she's going to pick 30 as her net for her next numbers. <laughs> uh, it is a lucky one. That one has, I think, been tonight, called... Yeah. Tonight, it has been lucky. It's been called every night. All right. 24. That's been called a couple of games, too. All right. 24. Let's see. You need to go right there. Nope. You need to go... Yeah, right there. Okay. 24. Oh, my goodness. STs. STs. All the STs rolling in. Let's do this one. Oh. Oh, that's the first time. Our lucky number 13. <laughs> 13. I think that is the first time it got called. If I'm not mistaken. 13, 14. Good. Let me do that guy. Number 18. Number 18. Numero ocho something. D How do you say it? Ochenta? Ochenta? Yeah. Ochenta? Something like that. Chris, you used to be fluent. No. Well. <laughs> it was enough to be dangerous. Yes, there you go. Yeah, it's been many years. All right. I don't even know where 18 goes. Maybe right there. Okay. Let's try this guy. Oh, my gosh. Patsy Roberts, STA. Catherine Healy, STA. <clears throat> There's our number one, too. Our number one is lucky. It's like they're cousins. They need to be together. Mm -hmm. I got to pick one on the bottom. Let's go with this guy. Way down here. See when's what his, his deal is. Number 15. Bag of Bones. I try to swirl them all around. Hmm. Oh, have we had 16 yet? <clears throat> Rustic crate? I don't that think so. Fine. Yeah, so Darrell Huffaker got my last rustic crate class, you guys. So that has moved off of the past classes mm -hmm. section. It's gone. Gone with the wind. Let's do that guy. Our number 17. Modern Garden, 17 Modern Garden. I feel like I have one of that one left. I, there was a gal who reached out to get my, my Modern Garden ink, paper, scissors, and she has not returned three of my emails. Oh, my goodness. And I think at three times of reaching out to somebody, is that enough to draw the line in the sand mm -hmm. and say, offer it up and put it back on the past classes and, oh. and see if somebody else wants to give it a happy home, right? So putting that out there in case anybody missed out on Modern Garden, I think I have one available. Number two, sending cheer. Number two, <clears throat> numero dos. That's that <clears throat> Yes. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let's swirl these around again. All right. All right. All right. I like that one. Number 23. Curved occasions. I know Mary Vogel has this number. 
number 23. Mary Vogel has this number. <laughs> but other than that, I, I I don't know when she sent in her numbers and I was like, wow, she put them all in a row and that served her well for game number three. Kelly did this to me, you guys. Uh, that was the cue to like hold my reins in and pull the horses back and wait to see what she wrote down for me. Ooh, okay. Hi, Anna Carter. Catherine Healy, Leslie McMinn. Oh, Lisa Sharkey would like... Okay, Lisa, I'm writing it on here. Mm -hmm. Running list of notes. I will, I will double check that she hasn't emailed me since Sunday. And I would save this one for you. Uh, Modern Garden. And I know you have an email. I owe you. And I will make sure I reply to you before we do any shipping for you. There it is. Catherine Healy. S-T-A-M-P. So, Catherine... You just need to, did Mary tell us what, right, oh, what say. did Mary tell us? Mary Vogel, where are you calling Mary Vogel? Where is that? Mary Vogel. Where's the sticky I made of him? I threw it away. Ah! Right there. Ha ah, ha, sorry. Oh, really? That's why we didn't put it on anything. My mom is being, my mom is saying, you're being too efficient. <laughs> Mary Vogel, you didn't tell us what you want. Okay. So, yes, congratulations. Catherine Healy, tell us your numbers. Here she goes. Five, thirteen. 14, 23, and 24. Wonderful. Okay. And Kelly's telling me I need to do one more game. So we're going to do, did Mary pick? I don't think she did. So Mary Vogel, we need for you. Oh, Feline's numbers are terrible tonight. Oh, no. Numbers may be terrible, but the cards are beautiful. Mm-hmm. So I'm stirring these already. So... Um, we're going to play another game and it's, it's actually the last game, right? It is. it is. Okay. I need for Mary Vogel to tell me what she wants. And then Catherine Healy, I won without one in 30. Ha ha ha. Catherine Healy. <laughs> it can be done. It can, it can be done. So Catherine, um, can you show them again? Carmen, Carmen Sanders, can I show them? Yes. So in Catherine too, when you... Once you see what Mary wants, then you can pick. We've got Garden Meadow. We've got Lovely and Sweet. Hot Air Balloon. Painted Lavender. And Notes of Nature. Pick for me. I didn't see the prizes. Oh, Mary, I just showed them. <laughs> Maybe you'll, you'll pick now that you saw them again. Notes of Nature, Painted Lavender, Hot Air Balloon, Lovely and Sweet, and Garden Meadow. So... Maybe you can pick now. All right. Nicole Herrick said her numbers are terrible, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's how it's going to go. Some, some nights they're going to work and some nights they're not. But it's all for fun. It's all for fun. So, Mary, if I don't see from you by the time we get a few numbers in, we will pick something for you. And... Um, and then we'll let Catherine pick. All right, so this one's calling my name right now. Let's do this guy. Number seven. Yay! Yay! No. Kelly always loved number seven. <laughs> Autumn Leaves is number seven. Hopefully you guys have it. Oh, she wants Garden Meadow. Oh, very good. Okay, so we've got Mary Vogel with Garden Meadow. Good okay. job. All right. Oh, wait. What, what just happened here? Mary says Garden Meadow, and then she said, oh, and then Catherine said na nature, Notes of Nature. Okay. Oh, oh, I was, that was. There we go. That was like the timing of that. That worked out. Okay, that worked out. Well. So, and I maybe, maybe Catherine was like right on it that she saw that. So that's perfect. Oh, sh look at all these S's. We got a Sherry Martin, Judy Sharp, Donna Grushki, Sherry Abrick. Holy. Okay, so we F. just did one number and it was seven, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm like, okay. Yep. We only have a number seven. Woo! So. There were a lot of numbers. There were a lot of number sevens. Okay, Kelly said there were a lot of you that have number seven. So hopefully some of you that were skunked before are not skunked anymore. All right, here's our number six. Light the sky. Light the sky. Oh, yeah, we love it. We love it. All right, let's do... Oh, here's our number 26, the rocking horse. I feel like that one made an announcement or um, it made an appearance in the first game. Because I remember talking about the dyes being out. Mm -hmm. All right, number 26. 
here's our number 29 Christmas classics. That was a fun class. This was like the, the Stampus Yak. You guys, I don't have any of this one left too. Angelique and, uh, wow, drawing a blank. <laughs> I just wrote your name down too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that's going to bother me. It's sitting over there. <laughs> It'll hit me. Yep. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's been a lot of names getting written down and I try to remember absolutely everything. And sometimes you can't do that, right? 22. Yay. That might be a first time for number 22. A... Graceful deer. I love it. Very nice. That's a big background stamp. Yeah. Here's our bag of bones, number 15, number 15. I think that 26 needs to go over yonder here. I think like something like that. All right, let's do this guy. Number 11, number 11. It is the cheers to the season, number 11. I see Deb Norman's got ST, a bunch. Carolyn Catchmark's got ST, I love it. Good deal. All right, Kelly hasn't given me any indication that I can stop. So we're going to do that guy down there. There's our 30. <laughs> what is it about that one? He was way on the bottom, and I'm like, I'm trying to pick from all over the place. All right, so let's keep swirling. Let's do that guy. We're still okay? Still okay. Right, number nine. Very cute. Very cute. Okay. Oh, my goodness, Lori Baxter. S-T-A-M-P. Wow. Okay, what? Dan Dawn's got S-T-A. S-T-A-M-P? No, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I was like, mm -hmm. so, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Back that up. Back that train up. Lori Baxter has S-T-A-M. Oh, Kelly's like, wait, hold the phone. The numbers don't lie. Let's do this guy. Oh, there's our rustic crate, number 16. 16, 17. I feel like this is going like that. Okay, I'm trying to keep my calm, my rows here. Okay, Linda Kester's got S-T-A. Sharon Land loves the DSP. Good. Okay. Let's keep swirling. Okay, let's go with that guy. Here's our 21 Marius Trees. 21 Marius Trees. I know, Lori Baxter. I'm so sorry. I, I jumped the gun on. I was so excited to spell it out loud that I said it out loud. No. I said it out loud. We need him back here. Mm, let's go for that guy. Oh, that guy. Fragrant Forest, number 14. 14. I feel like whoever I'm picking this number is going to be happy with me, and the rest of you are going to be sad with me. And I just keep swirling them around and swirling them around. Are we good? Kelly? Kelly's giving me the green light to pull another number. Okay, we're going to do this one. Ooh, number two. Number two. Number dos. Number two, zip zero not a Debbie Gas has gotten skunked. Who Shirley Malarkey's got S T A M. Ooh, Kelly just gave me a thumbs up that somebody should have it. I'm gonna wait for you guys to catch up. We got some S T A M's, and let's see if we have a a winner winner chicken dinner here. Catch up with us. Okay, Sherry Martin's got STA, Susan Bellamy, STA, Mary Sykes, STA. <gasps> there it is, Shirley Malarkey. Shirley Malarkey, STAMP. Very nice. All right, Shirley Kelly also has yeah. already confirmed and wrote your name down for me. Yeah. We show that you also have five numbers um, that were called. If you could... Also, reply in the comment section what your numbers are. I would appreciate it. Um, and I do want to announce, while Shirley's giving me her numbers, that I was really busy this last week. And so I did not do my regular game night posts like I normally do. Like um, bringing engagement and having you guys sign the, do the door prize form. So what I decided I'm going to do... When we're done with the last two cards, is we're still gonna. And there's Kelly. She's packing up to get going. Do I need to do? Do I need to help? No, you'll be good. Okay. Um, 
You did get the cover photo though, right? Mm -hmm. it's Perfect. Not. Awesome. Um, do you have two stamp sets for mom? You have to look through here. Okay. Something tag buffet and something else. You'd have to, they're all in alphabetical order. Okay. You might have to move stamps out of the way to get the T's though. And I don't remember the last one. Okay. I, uh, tidings, something, something tidings. Um, so just, okay, surely I've been watching all the comments. Okay. So what was that? Something with, t um, tidings, tidings something. No. Did she text it to you or no? No. I'm Here. Calling. I will tell people what we're going to do. So, and I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Just, it'll be a second. So what we're going to do after we're done making the next two cards is we're going to do door prizes. Um, I will go to the door prize form and see once who all filled out the door prize form because you guys, you know the drill. You know I pull prize, like pull winners from the, the door prize form. So we're going to go get to it. And if we have a few people that filled that out, then I will um, draw from there first. And then what we're going to do is just draw more, a couple more winners from the list of people who all registered. So Karen Beagle says timeless tidings. Timeless, timeless tidings and tag buffet. Tag so they'd buffet. be under the T's behind the piles in the front. Just be careful. There's a trap. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So that's what we're going to do. So just because you might not have won a bundle for a prize package, there are still going to be probably four or five more winners that um, um, that we're going to pick. So Lori Baxter says, what happens in Orlando stays in Orlando, yeah. Kelly. And have a great trip and have fun. Thank so you. yay. So okay. Excited. She's so excited. You guys, she's not taking her computer with her. No. This she, is the first time in my life I don't have a computer. This is the first time in her life that she's not taking her computer with her. Uh, and she told me to... Um, I can text her, but she's not going to respond until she gets back. And I said, that's okay. So. And I'm going to just quick anecdote here. So the last time I flew somewhere, it was for work and I had my computers with me and I cracked my laptop screen under the, you know, cause like when you take off, you need to put the bag under the seat and the corner knocked and it cracked my laptop screen. So mm. I am, I'm going no computer. Computerless, so. but she's taking your phone. So, yep. so yeah. If, so. if there's any fires I can fight, I can. Yep, she can she can do some firefighting. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna flip this back down. I don't know if I saw, not my night, but having fun. Good, Mary Lemke. I'm glad you're still having fun. Shirley said seven, eleven, nine, twenty-one, and two. I love it. Okay, so we have. Thank you so much for being so accommodating. Oh, you're oh. very welcome. See you when I get back. Get home safe. Yes. Watch for deer. Yes. All right, so Shirley, you have here your choice of painted lavender. Um, lovely and sweet, and hopefully you don't pick hot air balloon. <laughs> Only because I can't buy this until, um, the fifth. But if you really want it, I'd be willing to part with it. But maybe you'd pick either of these two. But, um, and then when it comes, to, so Sherry Stewart wins the last prize, and I'm going to pick a prize for her. And if hot air balloons left, then I'm going to pick the opposite for her. So we've, I've got a strategic plan in my head because... It dawned on me after the fact, like after I showed off all the prize packages for you guys, it dawned on me that there was only one of these available to purchase. And I'm like, oh, why don't I have the set? I'm like, I thought I bought the set. What happened? And then I realized that I put it up for a prize. And I'm like, oh, well, now I can't design the cards for the class. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so how the door prize works, you guys, is I generally would, em um, it's in a post. Oh, let's get to Facebook. It's in Facebook. If you guys go to the um, Stampin' Game Night, the group, this is my group, and this might be the event. Hang on, I need my group. So the Stampin' Game Night group. I haven't posted, I post all my classes in here. I post things, videos that I share, but it's been a while that I've posted about a game night. And when I do have game nights, what you could do is search for door prize. And what would happen is, are you ready for a fun game night? So this is where I, I slacked this last week. I'll be honest with you. The last time I posted in here was like July-ish because the last game night was July 6th. And I always share this door prize form. So I put this door prize form out here to help me find new people, right? But it's open to anybody to fill. And so people that... Um, fill out the door prize. I always give out one prize or I do give out one prize for every 20 people or so. Like if there's 19, I'll still do it or 18. Um, if there's over 15, I'd still do it. But the thing is I didn't post about it, but it's here and all you have to do is click on it and it takes you into a Google form. And what it's hopefully going to help me do is find people out there that, um, 
that haven't, oh, Shirley says the hot air balloon. <laughs> okay, so that's yours, Shirley. Um, so what um, it helps me do is find people who don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or aren't a demonstrator themselves, and then maybe it will help me connect with them. And so that's where the door prize form is. Um, and normally I share the door prize form um, via a post and then um, that helps me. So Shirley, we've got that for you. I'll set that back here. And then we've got two left. We got lovely and sweet and painted lavender. Okay. Um, Linda Hunt gets you need to get us. You guys, some of you guys got bad numbers tonight. Oh, I saw the door prize entry form. Um, in the reminder email for the PDF for the cards. There you go. I had, that's where I put it too. I try to put it there as well. Okay, so you guys, we have two cards left. And I have a squeaker here that made noises. We have these two cards left. Let's, let's do this one first. All right. So that one needs, hang on, I got a whole mishmash of piles going on here. That one is, might, no, no, if we need him. Honey, you want to play mouse, don't you? All right, so this is the card kit we need. Hi, girlfriend. Hi, squeaker. Watch your toes, girlfriend. Here. Oh, man. Come on. Go get it. I just threw it. Here. <laughs> you guys, so Honey does this thing with me and Tyler. She's like a dog, okay? She plays fetch, and she will go get the mouse and bring it back like 15 times before she gets over it. And she brings it right up to where I'm sitting, and she wants me to throw it. And this is her thing. And so she's just like playing with the mouse underneath the chair. All right, you guys, this is our fun fold, right? So the outside is not too crazy, and the inside is what has like a little tube there for us. And Kelly's already cut our little critters, and what we're going to do is get a lot of gluing going. Okay, so there's no reason why we can't glue this. Okay, and, and again, I don't necessarily follow the order of my PDF tutorial because when I get making a card, I don't think about it, <laughs> what way I go. I just go for it. Um, and uh, when I'm writing the tutorial, I try to do a metho methodical kind of approach to how you should put it together or like not should, but like I would recommend putting it together, right? So what we're going to do here is because I like to get a little glue happy when I can, um, your blue pieces should be the same size. You know, so they're both five and a quarter by four. Honey, girlfriend, where'd you put your mousey? Are you laying on it? Where are you? Oh, there it is. All right. Okay. <laughs> I threw it, girlfriend. Go get it. All right. So there's glue. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on the inside. Got our double matting going on. Hi, honey. This one, oh man, I got glue happy. You guys are probably all wondering why did she do that? She got glue happy, and it's okay because you know what? I'm not alone. A lot of you get glue happy too. <laughs> right? So don't fault me for glue, putting glue on here because now this is what you do to fix when you get glue happy. All right, so we're going to put our tear and tape because we need to get our ribbon behind here, everybody, right? And it's okay. If you got your glue down, you're going to work around it. You just might get stickier fingers than had you not glued it yet. So you need to cut enough ribbon here so that you can adhere your tails behind. So now we're gonna pick this up and we're going to run the ribbon through, like maybe that way, I guess. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna actually bring it down a hair, like right about here, so I don't cover up his head on the left, but I need to save a little room because I'll make it look like he's walking on the tag is what I'm gonna do. Super cool. Okay, so we're okay. We're gonna flip that over. And now we are going to put the other part of the adhesive here. And the tear and tape, I mean, same thing. Tear and tape is adhesive. And 
now that we have our ribbon behind, we can put this on the front. This is what brings it together. The, the presents are red, the sweater is red, and the red brings out the background here, brings that out. Okay, see, we're all good, back on track. Now, for this one, you have a white inside, and you have a white tube here, and you have this white bannery thing. And, I don't see your mouse, girlfriend. You didn't bring it, so I can't throw it. We're going to do sending cheer. Now, I brought in another stamp set just for a sentiment, you guys. So, sending cheer comes from here. And I have that out here, and we're going to use navy for this one. And then the inside also uses navy. So, we're going to put sending cheer. Right there. And then... The, here's to a season full of wonder and cheer. Now here's the thing. When you look at this, you can't put it up too far. You have to make sure you save room for your tube to go in and then about a finger width. So you're talking about a good inch and a half. And so grab that. And we're gonna bring that right about here. Hi, my little lady. Okay. She woke up and she wants to play. So there's the stamping. Two things, that's it. All right. So what we can do now, flip this over and we can put a little bit of glue right on the top of this red, the top of it, because we're gonna put the white over it. And then now this, so then this, you're gonna do is slightly offset this so that you see a little bit of red on the right and I've got it lined up, so, oop, I went a little too far. Got it something like that. All right, so you see the red coming up, and I've got the red on the bottom. Okay, and then our white here, that goes on the inside. So, so far, it looks like a normal card, right? If you don't want to make this a fun fold, you could just leave it right like this and you would be good to go. But we have this tube that we have for you. It's scored. It's basically scored every three quarters of an inch. And it's about a four and a quarter, so it's like a half of a sheet of paper. You could make this as wide or as thin as you want. And I ended up with a little half inch strip here. And that is where you're gonna put the tune. Go meet your mousey. I'll throw it if you go get it, girl. But I'm not going to go over there and get it. Okay? Go get it. This little tear and tape is what's going to go right along. I put it over the fold here. Okay? You can pick that off. And the easiest way to do this now is just fold it in half. And it should just lay flat. Hi, baby. Come on, go get your mouse. Okay, fold that, and it should just like nestle right on top of that half inch strip. So you basically made a tube, that's it. Okay, so that tube now is what goes in here. And you see, that's why I stamped it so like low, <laughs> low, low, low. All right, I'm being strategic too about where my seam is because I don't want my seam to be seen. So what you could do if you put it like this, when you open up the card, you see the seam here. What you might consider doing is putting the seam like um, on the underside of the top here. If for any reason, like any part of it hangs over, even just a hair, you could take your scissors and always just like trim that little bit off, but there really wasn't much for me. All right, so when you figure out where you're gonna put the seam, you wanna make sure that you put adhesive on the two sides that are attached to the card. So liquid glue, tear and tape, whichever. So I'm going to do my tear and tape and I'm going to put a track of it there, a track of it here, and then that's my bottom. And put one there. 
and then two. I did two because I wanted them as close to the score lines as possible. All right, and this is gonna get kind of adhere here. Like I'll do the bottom one first. So pick those off and I'm gonna center it like in between like the top and the bottom here. And this needs to get kind of wedged in the fold. And I'll be honest, we can pick off all of these. What we're gonna do is kind of set this. I'm like wedging it in the fold. And when you set it down into it, um, so Feline, it's the same form. You guys, the, I use the same Google form every time. I don't change the form. So if you go and find the July form, it's the same form. What I do is I have, there's a date stamp. There's a date stamp. So what I'm going to do for the drawing tonight is if anybody signed up, what month are we in? We're in November. If anybody signed up like within the month of November and beyond, because that's when we started advertising for game night, then I'll include you in the drawing for the form tonight. So, and you can go sign up for it right now if you want, you guys. If you're waiting for something, you're looking for something to do, you could always go sign up now. So look, when you open this up here, that's attached to both sides. And that's perfect. All right, so now let's work on the inside. We have the two wolves, a tree, and another wolf here. And so we've got this guy and these two. So what I would do is put a little bit of glue, a little, little bit, and attach that. How do I have it? Okay, right about here. Okay, and then this one, right about there. Okay, and then this guy, he's down a little further, like that. Cool, and then this one and his tail I did manage to keep it all on so we're going to just put a little glue that's ribbon we're gonna just trim it a little okay then this can go how do I have him walking on the white okay okay like that is this cool I used to so much fun with this. I had fun, like, it was just making a little baby scene on the inside. So on the outside, we're not done yet even. So then this is going to go right about here. So I've got mine set up that I wanted my tag. So it makes it look like the bear is walking on the tag. So this is gonna get popped up, but I wanna use the side here to create a little track. So we're gonna do this and this. And I'm gonna put this on the bottom side here of the ribbon and we're gonna put this on the top side of the ribbon. And I think that that should do it. Cool, something like that. I'm gonna see a little toesies. Move it over just a hair. Okay, and then our knot. So. You have to be very, you can go do it, Judy Sharp. You said you missed the form. You can go look for it. I still do a drawing. Anybody whose name is on for this drawing, because I'm going to literally pull it up once we're done with the live here. I'll pull it up right from the form. We'll put a, knot, a number next to everybody. So when you do an overhand knot with ribbon that's one-sided, you have to be very careful when you pull the tail through. So when I pull this through, I have to make sure that as I knot this, I knot it so that I've got the pretty sparkly side here and on this side. All right, and I have the pretty sparkly side there, okay? So that gives me the knot that I want. And then I'm gonna just trim that, and I might then put this on with a glue dot. And because my ribbon down here is not secured, I'm just gonna like lift up the ribbon a little bit, put that glue dot underneath the ribbon. So that holds the ribbon in place there. And then grab another glue dot right here, put it right in that middle section, and then your knot is going to sit right over the top, push it down into it really good. And then we can do our trimming like that. 
And then to make it even more secure, what you can do is grab another glue dot and I'm gonna lift up my tail here and push my tail on both sides into another glue dot like this. Be careful if you've already trimmed your ends though. You don't want your ribbon to fray. That's really gonna hold that down. All right, there it is. Okay, easy, right? I mean, I hope so. All right, I did remember that when I went to do this card, didn't I get glue on the back side of something? Oh, I did. So, and we never went back to take it off. There's glue back there. So you guys, this is what a glue eraser is really good for. I got glue back there and I let it dry and now you can take an eraser and get it off. All right. So Feline said it took a couple of tries to open, but it finally worked. Good. Open the form, but it finally worked. Okay, good, good. I'm glad, happy to hear it worked. Okay. Now, gems. I put, you could put green on here. So again, if you go back to your gems, the greens would like really pop with the trees. I've got a blue and a white and a blue, but you could definitely add on a couple green ones. Like over here, I could see some. You could put some up there. Um, put your gemsies on. All right. So was that, I don't think that was too hard, you guys. The tube seems like it's going to be really complicated, but it's not. It's four and a quarter, and then it's three and a half, and it's scored every three quarters. And then you're left with that little half inch tab, and you just make a little tube. And then you could attach whatever you want to the tube, and then when you close it, it closes flat like that. And so cute. Okay. There's our third card. I'll let that sit there for a moment while I take a drink of water and we're gonna make our fourth card. All right, the last one also is a fun fold. And I think Tyler helped me with this one a little bit. This is where this white piece must come in because it fell out of my envelope. All right, so this one has the most amount of pieces for you guys. You have lots. There's a snowflake in here. This comes from this, the, the chic dies. And then you have these pieces. They get layered on the inside. And you've got a white piece for the snow hill. And then these are for your outside. And you have two of these. These are your little tabs, okay? We'll talk about them in a moment. And then for this one, we need... And we're done with this now, so we'll put this over here. On the inside, this little guy goes here. Oh, did I forget some seals somewhere? Yes, I did. Hang on. Hmm. We forgot some seals. Hang on. These little seals. So for those that have seals, I forgot to glue these in. And Kelly so nicely cut them out for me. So I've got... I got to look. <laughs> I don't remember where I put them. Right here. And this guy looks like he was flying up here. He's in the way there. I'm going to put him here. In my card, I have this a little bit lower, and he fit right here. Oh, he still fit. Look at that. He fits right there. And then this guy. Now, again, if you don't have two seals and you want to put your bear, you could definitely put your bear on the inside. It's really okay. All right, now we're back on track. I feel better. It's like, why do I have floating animals or critters around? Okay. All right, so our bear goes on the outside. So this one, your card base is normal. You just fold it in half, burnish it. Okay. And then you have your presents. We're not gonna get glue happy all the way, okay? We're just gonna get one little glue happy in this one, okay? This card also has, you have two white random pieces of paper that weren't in an envelope, right? So just to call that out, you have two white pieces that look like this and they're scored over here and over here, okay? We'll work with them momentarily. All right, 
Now, um, we're gonna do Happy Holidays, and I don't even have a sentiment on the inside, so that's okay. We're gonna do Happy Holidays, and that came from one of the other sets, the, I believe it was Above It All. No sentiment on the inside, but if you wanna stamp a sentiment, you should definitely do that before you adhere it all together. So let's do that. This guy fell off, but we'll clean him. Okay. Grab your piercing mat, and you want the red ink. I think the red ink would look really nice. And you're stamping this straight on like a little, a little square, not a diamond. Just fits. Sending cheer would probably fit there, too. Are there sentiment? Yes, the sentiments are from these two sets I pulled in. Above it all and sending cheer. Yep, that's where I just the very cute <clears throat> is cute, <laughs> but the words and the sentiments didn't like trip my triggers. Like, 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 I'm good. Like, I needed other words for this. So, yes, I definitely pulled in some other sets. That's it for the stamping. So, let's grab our tear and tape. We're going to have two sitting here waiting in the wings, and we're going to put two. And let's figure out where this is going to go. So our tracks are going this way. And I feel like we don't want to cover up too much of the present. And the bear is going to be walking here. So I think our ribbon needs to go like right about, right about here. So I'm going to flip it up, keeping my finger there. And so we're going to put the tape here and there. So you guys got to be strategic about where you put your ribbon because I used it as a spot to like to ground the bear. And <clears throat> cause I really didn't know exactly where to put it. What I honestly did to make my sample card is I actually, I glued this down. See, this is why you guys watch me. Oh, let's make sure I get the right side. Okay, let's go back. So this was down and goes underneath the ribbon. So we're gonna put this down and I have it going all the way to the edge of the blue. I don't care if a little bit of the present gets covered up because I don't want this too low. So we're gonna do something like that. And then these two get glued together. So a little glue in the middle. And then this is offset like that. Kind of like what we did on the first or second card. Okay. And then we're gonna grab a dimensional and we're going to pop this up. And you can see I'm not gonna put any at the bottom here. And actually, let's see here, flip this up. This is gonna sit right here and I'm not gonna push it down very hard, only at the top, because now let's cut the ribbon. We need about like five inches. Now I know that I want this to go underneath the red and I'll pull that up just a hair. I have it in line with the white square here. So let's put that like that. And then that's how I figured out where my ribbon would go. So now I can flip it. And I'm gonna test it. Yep, my bear is gonna be right like that. I've got my tracks going that way and my presence on there and it's all good. Okay, then this tear and tape, tear and tape. Now the ribbon is a little bit thicker, so it is a little puffier in that spot. But now you can take your liquid glue. You don't need to put, oops. <laughs> you don't need to put the glue where the tear and tape is, but we're gonna pick that up. We're gonna salvage that. All right, and then this can go right onto the front of the card. See, balmy blue with real red. That looks cool as well. Okay, there's that. And then our bear can get a dimensional there and there. And what you could do, I don't know, liquid glue and hair and tape don't really mix. No, sorry, I said that wrong. Liquid glue and ribbon don't really mix. So if you really want to glue his feet down, what I would do is put glue dots. 
down here under his feet versus using liquid glue. And then I want that to go up. He's like walking on the ribbon. So he's grounded. You could have him slightly over the tag if you want. But something like that looks good. And then we did another one of those little overhand knots here. And then this twists, make sure you twist it so that you have the sparkly facing up. And just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other card. We're just gonna trim our tail here. I might just trim this right away. And then you guys didn't use a lot of ribbon, so you have a lot of ribbon left to make lots more pretty cards, okay? So we're gonna just go like that. All right, glue dots though. Yeah, Deanne, this color combo is really cool. It's very wintery-ish. So they're gonna put a glue dot there. My little bow doesn't wanna stay. He needs to go right. <laughs> he fell off. All right, and then I'm just gonna put another one right next to it and another one right next to it because this needs to go right there. Now, you might not like this knot because it does, because the ribbon is so thick, it, is, um, it might make it too puffy for your card. But like if you go to put that in the mail, depending on your mailman or your mail system, you might have that knot be up too high because it, it is about a quarter of an inch thick. And that's kind of like the guideline. When you put it in an envelope, it adds, but that's what I've got for the front here. Um, Patsy, you didn't get the email. Hmm. Let me think about that. I know, but what is to know? So if I emailed that November 14th and today is the 28th, I don't know if I sent out that on the email on November 14th. I don't remember. You guys, I don't remember what day I sent the email. If it was the 14th, it was the 14th, but, um, so that's the outside. And then what I did is I added some gems here. So I'm missing one. Some, there must've been a fifth one at some point, but there's a blue and a white, a blue and a white, and I'd put another one like here, or you could put one over there, something, add another one. Now, this is the fun part, you guys. The outside was easy. Now we get the fun part on the inside. So first things first, let's cut our snow hill. I gave you guys this piece of paper, and you could keep it flat, or you could just take your scissors and go up, make a rolling hill and bring it down. Just like that. So I just rolled the, the edge, right? And then what's gonna happen is the blue fits on the red, the red goes on the blue, and then the white goes on the red. So we're gonna do this one first. And that goes on our red, our real red. And then our snow hill goes next. And I just, I think I put it flat. I did, because it's on the inside of the card. I didn't want it to get too puffy. That goes down next. Like that. Okay, if any of it's hanging over, just grab your scissors and trim it. And then now this will go onto the Knight of Navy. Okay, our bear, I did pop up his head. So just his little head. And then what I did is have his butt here glued flat to the snow hill. I got him to the right a little bit. But when I originally made this card, I didn't have a snowflake up here. And Tyler said to me, he needs to be looking at something. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I cut a little snowflake and I attached that up here in the sky, like that. And I added, on my sample card here, I added the gems here. So a glitter sequin, a glitter sequin, and then I put a blue one in the middle of the white. And he's up there looking at the snowfall coming down. Oh, it was a reminder email for the class. Very good, okay. 
So Linda Hunt said it was the reminder email for the class. So good call. That's where I had it in there. So everybody in my community would have gotten that email. So if you're signed up for my emails in the in my website, so you go to cardsbycrispy.com, and if you sign up for my emails, it was a class reminder where I reminded people to fill out the door prize. So I'm curious how many people went in and filled out the door prize form. Okay, so that's so far, so far. <laughs> All right, next. Thanks, Sherry Stewart. Sherry Stewart, did you see you won game two? <laughs> you weren't around to pick a prize. And so there are two left. You could either pick Painted Lavender or Lovely and Sweet. Your call, whatever you want. You just let me know and I'll put your name on one. All right. How to do the inside, okay? So right now it's a generic inside, but these two pieces of paper is what's gonna make this be a fun fold. So fold them, whoa, fold them both on the score line, all right? This was really hard to write in the tutorial, so I apologize in advance if it did not make sense. And I basically put out there, watch the video tutorial. <laughs> all right, so these ultimately get glued together in the inside like that, okay? But before we glue these things is where we have to put our toggles in. Perfect. Painted lavender is yours. Yay! All the prizes are picked. I love it. Okay. On the PDF, I did say to score these at one inch. You guys, I did not have the bandwidth to score all these little pieces at one inch, especially when all you have to do is take them and fold it in half, okay? That's really the same thing. If you wanna score it, you can, but ultimately this is a one inch, or yeah, this is a one inch by two inches. You're just gonna take and fold it in half like that, okay? And it doesn't have to be exact. Mine's overhanging a little bit. You're never gonna notice that. Ultimately what happens is this right here gets glued on the inside of this like this, and then we're gluing that on the top. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go through this step by step. You have these two pieces folded. And right, right now, all we're going to do is concentrate on getting like the first one glued in. So a little bit of liquid glue here. Okay. And I'm going to... Make sure that this folds. Okay, it might be a little closer to the edge here, and that's okay. You're still gonna see some little, a little red margin. Okay, then this one. Little glue, and this goes on this side. Just like that, okay? All right, oh, it's still a little wiggly, so we've got room to maneuver it around if we need to, okay? So there is a little gap here in the middle, and that's because you, you need that. When you go to fold this, you need that little gap because, trust me, you need the mind of the gap. You need the gap, all right? So, because it's gonna fold like this, all right? All right, these little tab things. What I would do is glue them together. So I put a little glue here. And what you want to do is make sure your fold matches up, right? So when you have the fold, you want these to be flush, right? Um, and you guys, the other thing, so Patsy, yeah, if you want to send Jenny your email address, you're welcome to, if you want to, Jenny will share that with you. Or if you go to the Facebook page, and search um, door prize form, you'll be able to find it that way. So I want my fold to be flush here. So when you open it up, you can see it's flat. I guess if I hold it like this, let's see. It's just nice and flat, flush here, right? Okay, so far so good. <laughs> okay, now we've got the side glued here. We've got the side glued here. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue here a little bit of glue here, okay? That is ultimately 
gonna get put in here. At the same time, we're gonna glue this. Okay, this is all gonna get shot together. And it's about in the middle, right? So you can see like what we're essentially doing is gluing that in the middle. So I'm gonna set this down here. I'm gonna do it again, <laughs> in case you guys missed it. I've got my opening. I'm just kind of setting this in the middle and then this goes down and then this gets shut. Okay, and so you've got a little tab of thing coming out. All right, it's okay if, like I noticed like on this one, the white's like this, and on this one, you've got just a hair over. It. It's really, if a person's gonna critique it that much, tell them to go buy a Hallmark card, All right? It's really okay. Okay, so that's what we've got. And the tag, the, that little tabby thing is there, okay? Okay, so far, so you got the tab there. What's gonna happen now is this just gets glued to this. And then, okay, so we're gonna glue, a little glue here, a little glue there. You wanna make sure this is centered pretty good because you saw me, I was trying to make sure that it would fit in the card. <laughs> like the reason that this is up as high as it is is because this needed to be able to fit in there. So what you wanna make sure you do here is center this top to bottom and center it and test it right away. Okay, so it cannot ever fold in like this because your snowflake is here. It can only fold this way. And a good way to test it is like, okay, that's about half for me and this will fold. Okay, so when you open it up like that. Now, if you want to put the snowflake there, then you would have been able to fold it in here. But because that snowflake is there, you're not ever gonna be able to fold the card like that. And when this is standing up like this, that's what you get. Okay, now, if this bothers you, like if you're looking at this and you haven't put your card together yet, if this bothers you, what you could have done is you could have like opened this up and taken your scissors and just very carefully trimmed off that one side so it was flush before you put glue all over it. But you wouldn't have to either. So, all right, so that's what you have. But we also now have these little side strips that help decorate and add a little, because right now this is boring. I mean, this is cute, this is adorbsy, but this is boring on the sides. And this is also where if you need to stamp a sentiment, you could get in here and stamp something, but it would have been easier to stamp it with it not put together. All right, so then this, that looks like it'll fit. And this, these were just little extra side pieces that we didn't want to go to waste. So we're going to put these, just to add some color, bring that Knight of Navy back in here. Sherry said she loves all the cards and they were fun to make, great, yay. And this is gonna go over on this side like that. Oh, and then we have a deer, oh dear. There's a deer. Let's glue our deer in. Thank you to Kelly, again. She played Vanna White for us today. And this guy's right here. Girl, the doe, a female deer. Fa, a long, long way to run. Me, a name I call myself. So a needle pulling thread. And here we have our card in the end. <laughs> Which brings me back to doe, a deer, a female deer. Okay, sorry. That's me being punchy. All right. Yay. Okay, that's what I've got. I think this is my favorite one only because I just pulled this out of like, I knew what I kind of wanted to do, but I didn't know how to make it happen. And then this is what came out. This is, I'm like, okay, we're just going to do it like this. Like it seemed easy enough to do it like this, having two pieces, marrying them together and then putting the toggle in. It would have been too hard for this all to be one piece and finagling it. So that's why we ended up with like the card like that. And I just, it's so fun. Having the navy on the side here brings out the navy here and the balmy blue and the balmy blue and the white and the deer and just, yay. You could add more critters like from your pile over here. You could add a little polar bear over on the side and they're looking at each other. Like you could put a tree. There's like, there's extra trees. You could have put a tree in the inside. Like the, the sky's the limit. So 
and you could decorate all of your envelopes to match. Um, so yay. I like this one a lot. Uh, we had a really little hiccup in the beginning, but I think we pulled ourselves through it and we got all of our cards made here. And now you guys can tell me which one is your favorite. I don't know. They're all different in their own way. So they're all my children. <laughs> and I love them all. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to clean up shop here and get my computer handy so that we can pull up our names so we can do some door prizes. Put that away. This needs to go for Jill. And I even save all of her little scraps for her in case she wants to make something else. Okay, and you guys have lots of little critters left too. I mean, you had, you had some full six by six sheets here, four full ones, plus lots of critters that you can make more stuff with. All right, very good, very good. So, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, there's the envelope. All right, I'm gonna go grab my computer. I feel like there's gotta be one more envelope. There it is. It's hiding because it's white. It blended right in. All right. Karma says she loves them all. I like the two on the left side. Good, good. Beautiful cards. Okay, you guys, I'm sad that this class is done. These cards are so much fun to look at. And thank goodness we had Jill that I could make up her sample so that I have, at the moment, until I check my email, I don't know if I have any left or not, but I did going into tonight, I think. don't you okay all right all right so you guys can enlighten me for a moment tell me something I don't know while I pull up this Google Drive form and we will see here who can be a winner winner chicken dinner tonight hi girlfriend are you gonna come up here, here. little baby girl you haven't shown yourself to my my peeps here lately girlfriend you guys want to see my little honey bear? Oh, here's honey. She's getting bigger, you guys. She's getting to be a handful here. A little wiggle worm is what she really is. Nope, you're not stepping on the computer, girl. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we had, I'm going to do the random number generator for 58 people for the, for the, for those that participated and registered for class. But we're going to just, I'm going to grab the Google form here for the door prize. Let's see if I can find, I can find it really quick here. Let's see how many people registered in October. So let's see, marketing, I got to go to my folder. Okay, let's go to the drive. Sherry Stewart said yes, please. I think that I'm not sure what you're saying yes, please do. <laughs> All right. So we can go in and cut out everybody from before October. So I think I, so yeah, the first one that I have here would be November 9th. That's our first person in November. So Penny Powell, you were officially the first one to sign up in November on the 9th. And then Dar McCarthy did, so good job. And then Cindy Runtree, Tabitha Lawson, you want me to pet you, don't you? Christy Warren, Kay Warren, yay. So a bunch of you guys signed up. We have Anna, Susie, Angela, Linda, Kathy, Jackson, Debbie, Robin. Okay, look at you guys. Deb, Norman, Patsy, um, Kathy Jackson, Pat Settle, Ellen Brover, Karen Cott. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ellen Brover, you signed up twice, so I'm going to delete you off of here, okay? Because you can only be in the, the sign-up one time, so I'll take off Ellen. If you guys end up doing it twice, I just take you out. Angela Knutson did it again, too, I think. See, that's what I usually do before the live is I take you guys, anybody who does it double, I take you out. So that's what I'm going to actually do. So hang on, we're just going to take all your names and then let's see who's in here twice. Wow, you guys. 
Hang on here. And you guys are going to laugh. Oh my gosh, you're going to laugh. Do you know why? Because that was actually 2021. We started this Google form back in 2020. And I need to fast forward actually. Wow, that was 2021. One moment, please. Let's get into the right year. Holy Moses. Do you know how many of you guys signed up today? Today's the 29th. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Are you happy that I let you guys sign up today yet? Because there's a lot of you that just signed up. Okay. Let's go. Um, November 6th of 2023, Jenny Knutson, you're the first one. So we're going to grab from you down. Wow. Okay. Very cool. So we're going to do, let's just see how many people are here. And then we are going to figure out who from this list will get a prize. And I haven't picked the prizes yet, you guys. It's going to be an embellishment or a ribbon from uh, the current, either current catalog. And so we're going to number you guys all here. So let's put that and we'll see how many of you guys are on here. So, all right. So we have 45 people. Wowzers. Okay. And do you want to know how many people signed up just today alone? Because we talked about it probably. We had 22 people sign up during class tonight. Okay, so there you go. So I we talked about it. I think that we had more people register tonight than we did for the last one for the door prize. Okay, so now the trick though is to see how many, I'm curious, how many of you guys signed up twice? Um, because that happens, right? Um, let's sign up, let's see here. And then once I figure out who signed up twice, then I can take out the doubles. So, all right, let's do a little filtering here. Filter by first name undo. Guys, okay, so enlighten me. We're almost done with class. I know this took a little bit longer. We're hitting nine o'clock, but we're going to pick winners. That's what's next on our list, just picking a winner or 10 or two. <laughs> okay, Carmen Sanders, you signed up twice. So, uh, unfortunately, you were taking out your second one. So, you don't have two shots at it. Uh, Jenny Knutson, you also are in my list twice. So we're taking out your second one. And Leslie McMinn. I see this is where if you guys sign up twice for something, I, I, I got to go through the process of taking out the people who do twice. Patricia Fleming, we're going to take you out as well. See, normally you guys don't know I do this, but I can see who signed up twice and who didn't. So uh, Sandy Suetta, we're also taking out your second one because then we're going to... Perfect. Then we can reorder you guys, and I'll put you back in the order that you actually registered uh, and did the door prize. And then I just renumber them, and then you keep your order. So, all right, are you guys ready? Okay. A little bit of a process, but we got 40 people. That means that I will do twin, uh, two. Um, Lynn Beasley still can't find the form. <laughs> Lynn Beasley will make you number 41. <laughs> all right. Just because I can. All right, so Lynn Beasley, we'll put you in here, and then that's it. We're going to do the drawing, you guys. Lynn Beasley, you'll be number 41. All right, so I'll bring this down. I filled it out the day you sent it. Yeah, Lisa Sharkey, you did it really right away. 50% of you guys are slackers. Uh, well, I will admit that you guys didn't get the official reminder like you normally would have from me, so I was the first slacker to the party, okay? So you guys, I've got here 41, all right? And what we're going to do is do a random number generator, Put in 41 people. I'm going to flip this so that you can see the word generate. And when I hit generate, number 38. 38 is Karen Stagg. So again, surprises in your packages tomorrow. We're going to do another one. I'm going to click the word generate. 32. 32 is up here. 32 is Marcia Svatek. All right. All right. So you guys are the winners. Spa tech. All right. I will say something that I didn't think about until somebody recently emailed me. And it was just a, oh, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Most of us don't mind our names being discussed like on a YouTube video, I think. And I use your names a lot because that's how I converse with you. And that's how I do my roll call. But I did have, and it made me think twice. I'm like, oh, I suppose, you know, if somebody wants to be more private, um, they might not want me to say their name. So if you guys ever don't want me, uh, Feline, all the kitties are back to good health. Yes, they are. If you ever don't want me to say your full name, 
you just have to let me know and I will try to commit that to my memory bank and not do that. <laughs> so I don't mind that. Um, I will just have to make myself a mental note that don't say last name or something like that, right? Or just say so-and-so from wherever. I'll try to make that too. But I do want to say that I do respect people's privacy. And if that's something that's really important to you and you don't think that I do share your, like that I don't, that I, that I just have to say your name, just know that I can be respectful of privacy and not say that. So, um, so I just wanted to put that out there because I, I never thought of it until she brought it up to me that maybe people don't want their names like broadcasts on TV, I guess. It's like TV, right? Kind of. So just know that I am, I am, I'm a good with whatever you want. <laughs> so I will reach out to her too, to let her know that. Okay. So then going back to, so now we also said like if people have won prize packages, they've won tonight. And now, um, Karen Stagg won and Marcia Svatek won, and I'm going to pick four or five more people. We're going to get on a roll and see how else can win. And it's, if you haven't won something already tonight, um, honey, Stop eating that. Girlfriend. Hang on, guys. Da da da. Come on. All right. She was eating a flower arrangement like that. <laughs> so, okay. So, we're going to do 58. It's the random number generator for this. And we're going to pick some more uh, ones. Linda, how much is the ad K? Um, the, oh, the add on. Donna Grushki, the add on. It's $26 plus shipping, but I have to look, it needs to go into a box. I think because I won't be able to fit everything of yours now in a padded envelope. And so I'm gonna go from a, a padded envelope to a box and I just have to see how much more shipping might be. It might be only like a dollar or two or three. I don't know. It won't be a full $10. The add-on sampler was, if you're shipping it by itself, $10 but otherwise it's just a few bucks and that's because of changing from a padded envelope to a box. So you guys, we're gonna flip this back down so you can see that I have 58 in here. When I click generate, it's gonna tell me a number, 52. 52 is Jean Jurdis. yay, Jean. I will have a prize for you. And then we're gonna click generate again. Number 43 is Joanne Kahn. Yay, Joanne. All right, we're gonna flip out and we're gonna flip back in. I like to reset it. And we're going to go back to 58, not a 1,058, but a 58. And we're going to bring that down and hit generate. 42 is Susan Warmly. Yay, Susan. So what I'm drawing for now is people who participated and registered for class but didn't win a prize yet. And I'm going to have like a ribbon or embellishment or like maybe a quarter pack of DSP, something for you. 53 is Lisa Sharkey. Yay, Lisa. All right, I'm going to flip it out. I think what I'm going to do is pick two more people, and we're going to start over again. We're going to put 58 in here, and I'm going to hit the word generate. Wow! Who was number one to sign up, you guys? It was, hang on. I gotta use my arrow key, I guess. One is Judy Sharp. Judy Sharp, you signed up like three or four months ago. So we're going to give you a prize. And to make it an even eight, we're going to pick one more person and hit the word generate. 25 is Angie Ward. All right, Angie, yay. All right. Good deal. Okay, so there you guys got to go. You watched me do the drawing so that you guys can see you're all in on it. Um, we had Karen Stagg, Marsha Svatek, Jean Jurdis, Joanne Kahn, Susan Wormley, Lisa Sharpie, Lisa Sharkey. I saw Sharp and I said Sharpie. Lisa Sharkey, Judy Sharp, Angie Ward. Um, all of you girls will get, honey, be careful. All of you will get an extra bonus prize. And then we had Sherry Stewart, Shirley Malarkey, Catherine Healy, Mary Vogel, and Jean Terwilliger. So that's eight plus five is 13 people, one prizes out of like 58 people. So that's about 10%. So I always like to give back um, as much as I can for prizes um, when I do something like this. And I honestly, I, I now I'm at the point where I've got everything all kitted up for the month of December and I can go through my inventory of what I use for kitting up for classes and see what I have extra of. And those are what I generally will give out for prizes. So yay, woohoo! Yeah, Judy paid to be number one tonight. Yay, awesome. So congratulations to all of our winner, winner chicken dinners. 
Um, if anybody does want to add on any classes for December, it's best to like reach out to me um, as soon as possible. Um, if you're already getting a December class and we're adding on another class to the package, it won't be much extra for shipping or I usually take off a little bit for shipping. Um, and that's what was going to be my next thing. Do you guys want to see what the hive looks like right now? Um, if, uh, if you guys saw the live this, this afternoon, you could, you saw the boxes all out on the counters. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera. If you guys want me to, I'll take the camera. Anybody who wants to see a little bit more of the action, um, you need someone else to have pick some. So Feline funny story is one of the first, not the first time, but it might've been like the third time I did a game night. Um, Deanne Estelle had me pick her numbers. And I just was like, I like two, I like 12, I like 22. And I picked then two other numbers that I'm like, that were in my head. And she was, I think, one of the first people to win game night then for that round. And she's like, I should have you pick my numbers all the time. I'm like, no, 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 I can't do that all the time. <laughs> so, but that's exactly how it goes. Some people had good numbers and some didn't. And I think it was across the board um, that I, hopefully that you had your number picked at least once or twice, or I had a couple of years. Sherry Everett wants to do, did you do the add-on? You know what, Sherry, I don't remember. Um, you guys, I'll be honest, my goal is tonight, The first, one of the first things I need to do is I need to check my tailored expressions order to see when those calendars are coming in. Anybody who's getting calendars from tailored expressions, I'm gonna be holding your packages until they arrive because I didn't charge shipping to anybody if you had a package. If you didn't have a package going out and you needed them shipped to you, then yes, I put on, I figured out what post is gonna be. But if you didn't, if you have, I, I'm gonna have to hold those. And if I see that the package is coming tomorrow, that's good, like that'll be great. But if um, if that's not coming until Friday, I'm gonna hold packages until um, they come. Because the calendars that I'm talking about are these guys. And I ordered, I didn't know how many to get. Um, I think between everybody and myself, I had about 470 of these that I needed to get. And so just to be safe, and just in case anybody missed seeing my live from last week, I bought 650 of them because I basically got them for about 40 cents each, like after tax and there was no shipping. And so they were on sale. Um, so if anybody needs those little baby calendars, uh, I think, I think what I did is three for a dollar because I actually got a small little discount on top of it. So it ended up being like 33 or 34 cents each. Um, so if anybody needs those, those little mini calendars that you can use for making your cards, reach out to me. I have I've got, if you need 10, if you need 20, if you need 13, if you need 12, like figure it out. Um, I think I did three for a dollar is what they were or 40 cents each because I don't want to have to figure out um, 33 cents and 36 cents, not worth it to me. So um, great, please send me the PDF for the 11.9 monthly card class. All right, Barbara, I did see that note, but it wouldn't hurt for you to follow up with an email. Um, anytime you guys, I always try to remind you, if you message me and I don't necessarily see the comment, I might not see it and um, you, I might miss it. So if you ever have to comment, then make sure you also follow up with an email, text, or a phone call. Um, this is what we're talking about. Um, this is the add-on, Nicole, and I do have about eight of these left. It's the add-on sampler. It's for the online exclusives. Um, we got those all kitted up this past, actually we did it on, I think we did it on it was Thanksgiving day at like 9 30 in the evening. <laughs> so, all right. So follow me guys, humor me. Holy wow. That is gorgeous. You can add 20 more if you want. Yeah, Feline. I'm not by my paper right now. We're going for a tour. Um, text me or you know, Facebook message me like you normally do Feline. Okay. All right. Um, or 21 to make the money count easier. You know what, Feline, I'll, it's easier to do actually 10. Um, because they come in packs of 10 and then I don't need to like cut them open. So just tell me you want 20 and I'll tell you the amount. Okay. And you're sending me money soon and we can just add it to that. Okay. So let me flip. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. Hang on. Flip. Okay. All right. So you guys don't mind the counter. It's like a mess. Those are for people. <laughs> you guys, those are not available. They have post-it notes on them. People have claimed them that last week already. They're just waiting to ship out. 
Um, okay, so this is like where I store people's stuff from like, oh, they ordered it like last week after the class. Then I'll like set it on the back counter until stuff can get married up with it. So like past classes that went after the fact. But then this is where the chaos from today started. The culmination of five things or six things. All right, um, Shirley 20 message me and then Sandy 30 message me and then... 12 for somebody as well. 12, I saw 12 for somebody. Somebody, Lisa, uh, 12. Somebody said 12 something. Okay, so in paper, scissors, the monthly class, the holiday open house, or you guys are getting to see your little gifts that I have for you, your little make and take packages and your little bars that I have for you. Um, the monthly class is in here. Uh, let's just stamp um, yeah, da, 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 roses technique club class you guys every one of these little like that's a pile right there that's a pile over there that's somebody's that's so every one of these individual piles like susan bellamy that's like your whole pile back there <laughs> so uh so yes this is what we did so after all the classes got kitted up like 1300 cards then we make the piles and then everybody's get married up like so that is somebody's pile that whole thing right there. I think Angelique, that's yours. <laughs> she she got my one of my last Christmas stamp of stacks and then ink, paper, scissors. And so all these piles are shipments for people, like ready to go out tomorrow. So my mom and I probably have five hours. I, I don't know if she's watching, but I guess my mom and my dad watch from time to time. And so um she, yeah, Lisa, if it's if you can do ten, that would be easier. But I don't mind breaking up a pack because I've been doing that. So if you want twelve. And then here are the DSP samplers, you guys. I still have to get my slips from Tyler. He gets them from where he works. Um, and then, like, this is what I just showed you, you guys. So we've got, like, eight extra of those, but those need to get married. And then these are, like, upcoming classes. These are the past classes sitting over here. And then, honey, get out of there. Um, these are kitted up for when I do in-person stuff. They love this ribbon right here. So I'm trying to, like, get out of there, little girlfriend. Um, more piles over here. So this is, you guys, I had, this is the la leftovers of the translucent floral. So translucent florals, I had eight left, and they're basically all accounted for here. Ran out of gems, honestly. So did a two-day order to get the gems to finish off the what I need there. And then more piles. So these are the last three people that I need to get the game nights ready for. And then here's some ink, paper, scissors. Oh, and then um, Santa's wish list, you guys. I, I sent an email about this. So if anybody needs me to add this to your catalog, or I mean to your pile, I'd have to fold it. But these are the little Santa's wish lists. So if you know anybody that you need to put a little Christmas wish list together for to help them do their shopping, I can include that. Here's Hunky. Don't be doing that to my chair, buddy. Squeaker. We call him Squeaker. Stop that, though. Da da da. Okay, and <laughs> so, yeah. All right, you guys, I think we made it around here. Now we can head back to the chaos over here. Honey pulled down towels and you know, that's just how it goes. So hang on. All right, so, oh, yes. So if you guys are wondering, I'm gonna flip this around. If you guys are wondering, if you're wondering why I haven't replied to you in the last, three days or two days. That's why. Okay. I, uh, um, I have been busy. <laughs> so, oh yes. All right. So man of rights. So we were busy the last couple of days. So I'm going to definitely try to, um, I'm going to definitely try to get a response to all your emails in the next like 12 hours, hopefully, so that you can know if I like I'm just trying to get to all your emails yet over the like the course of the night so that if anything needs to get shipped it can get shipped with our big shipping day tomorrow <sighs> so take a deep breath it's all good my cats would have that on the floor yeah so you know the cats somebody said that to me the other day the cats are pretty good about not wrecking things uh, the only thing that they do absolutely love are the rib. They love ribbon. And so I have to be very careful. I'm going to unplug that back in. The cats love the ribbon. Um, so I got to be careful. Like when I have ribbon sticking out like that, they want to play with it. And other than that, they're good. So um, you and your elves, we have been busy, Vicki. Yes, 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 we have. So, all right, we did good. Oh, we made it through another game night. And um, we got to show you what we've been up to for the last couple days. Um, 
yeah. So again, now is the time if you want to get anything in December. I'm kind of winding down on the winter meadow. I think I might only have one or two sets of that class left. Um, so I'm going to have to say like once I... I'm done with a class I, and I don't have any left. I'm not going back to kit more. Like with Winter Meadow, we made 72 and I think I have like two unaccounted for it this time. But once I check my email, that might be have that might change. So yeah, that's a whole lot of card gets. It is Valine. So yeah, okay. I think we did good, you guys. We got a bunch of winners tonight. We made four cards. We got to see Kelly and her Winnie the Pooh hat. Wish her um, luck on her trip. <laughs> and I think the next thing... Also, uh, to have on people's radars, um, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, discount shop, you're a hobbyist, you should be getting your catalog or should have gotten it already. Um, should I place my order for the technique? No, actually not Karen Woods. That's a good point. We'll talk about that. Anybody who does Rose's Technique Club class with me, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought while I was talking about because I thought all of a sudden I started thinking about Technique Club class. The, for the Technique Club class, the orders are due between the 1st and the 10th of the month. And people are asking, well, you're shipping out the kits this week. Do you want the order beforehand? No, I trust you guys a lot. <laughs> so for those people that are part of the Technique Club class with Rose and myself, um, I still want the order between the 1st and the 10th to keep it in the month of the club that you're getting the class. I just wanna know who wants to take that class now so that I could consolidate it. There's gonna be, a, thousands and millions of packages being shipped out and the, the what I could do to help that is ship everything for December at once it helps the postal system we have less packages it helps you guys to not get a package lost in the mail everything comes together for December so you're set so if you know you're taking Rose's class with me the Technique Club class um, and you haven't confirmed it already which there's a lot of you only eight of you have confirmed it um, and there's normally in the mid 20s like let me know tonight because I can make sure to put your card kits in with um, your package that's going out tomorrow. So um, Lisa Sharkey wanted one of the Winter Meadow. Okay, I'll make sure that Lisa, if you, I'll make sure to check the emails. So at the moment, if people ask for classes, I take the first people who registered for them and I go in date order. Like if, if somebody emailed me two days ago and then somebody ordered me, asked for it today, if the class is gone, as of the people who emailed me on Monday, I have to tell the people today that it's gone. So just be prepared if that happens with Winter Meadow. It, it's not a risk for the monthly class. It's not a risk for Rose's class. Ink, paper, scissors, you guys. I have like 30 that can sign up yet. And the um, Let's Just Stamp, I have about 18. It's just the Winter Meadow. So um, so Lisa Shark, I will make sure you are signed up for Winter Meadow if you already messaged me about it. So um, Kathy, we're, you're... We're, Cool, where you're talking about paper share on it. Yes, so the, the add-on paper share, the add-on DSP sampler, you guys, that is for online exclusives. So it includes like Delightful Floral, the uh, St. Nick paper, Shining Christmas, Hello Irresistible from March. Um, Nicole's doing the technique, great. I think what I need to do is reach out to everybody who normally does the technique and just confirm it. So, um, but uh, there's a bunch of the tartan foil. Anything that was an online exclusive this year is part of the add-on sampler. And I think I'm going to be doing this every year. As long as Stampin' Up! keeps coming out with online exclusives, I'm going to save some of that paper to make my DSP sampler. So yes, and a lot of people are doing the Technique Club class with Rose. A lot of you guys are, have told me you're going to just place your order on Friday, which is the first, which is perfect, you guys. Absolutely perfect. I trust you. Even if I ship your kit on, on Thursday and you tell me you're taking the class, there's a whole trust system with everybody. So... Um, perfect. All right. So good. Yeah. And technique club class for December, you guys, roses featuring, um, light the sky, which is the fireworks set. So, okay. So Nicole, I will save a winter meadow for you only if I don't have other people who have emailed or paid for that class. Right. So that's how it's going to have to work. Um, I'm going to go through my email and go for first, who, I, I've been processing text messages and Facebook messages, but I go for my email. I'm going to go back to Sunday and start at Sunday. And I have like three people, I think, prior to Sunday that I still need to get back to. So um, so definitely, like I'll, I'll get you in order. So Luann Trump Power, the DSP sampler is $26 plus shipping. If you're shipping it by itself in a priority padded envelope, it's $10 to ship that padded envelope. But if you have another class, like ink, paper, scissors going out, or if you have 
a different other package, we can consolidate and save a little money on shipping. I just, I need to know, like when you sign up for something now, if you guys can say, I also have this, like that would be amazing because then I can go over, check it and figure out what the weight would be and then tell you how much like you can save on shipping. So we don't do this all the time, you guys. It's only because it's the Christmas holiday season and the post office gets inundated with packages. Um, so yeah, so the sampler, you guys, that was 26 and it's just as, I think it's one page short of the, the holiday mini catalog. And so we did the same pricing on that just because it's about the same amount of work. <laughs> so like, to have one page less really didn't take the, the amount of time away. Um, so we, it, we, it's $26 and then shipping. Okay. All right. Did we answer everybody's questions that, that we had on here? So, um, I want, yo, Mary Sykes. You also were somebody that I haven't gotten back to you yet, but you wanted winter meadow. You want the, yep, let's just stamp. Yep. So Mary Sykes, I just saw your message pop in. I definitely will be responding to you as well. You guys, I probably have about three hours of email catching up to do to make sure that we're ready for shipping tomorrow. So you don't have to send a reminder, but Mary Sykes, I didn't mind you sending it. But like, if you've already sent me an email since Sunday, just know I will reply and respond. You don't have to send me another email and forward it. Um, I, I'm seeing them. I just not processing them. So, all right. Um, yep. Donna, you're signed up for all of December. You sure are. Um, and then Donna, you want the DSP sampler too. So, um, I'm pretty sure. So we added that on as well. So good. All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off. It's nine 20. We've been live for three and a half, three hours and 15 minutes. Um, and Nicole, yes, you can definitely do the add on. Yep. So perfect. Good deal. Okay. I think I'm going to call it, you guys. Um, I will say lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs to you guys. You have a good rest of your Thursday. I had a fabulous game night. I thoroughly enjoyed making those cards with you, and I'm so excited that we had some luck lucky winners tonight, too. Okay, Luann, definitely. Anybody that's watching this now or on the replay, too, make sure you always follow up with an email, a text, or um, call me <laughs> to make sure I see it and I process it. Uh, sometimes, if I... I'm not making notes while they're coming in. You guys, I don't always catch that. So it's always good to have a, an email back and forth or a, a text back and forth so I can confirm. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to count to 10 just in case it ends early. And then I'm going to get a drink of water and start going through emails. <laughs> all right, I love you a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're very